I'm sorry. I was busy reading. You don't understand. It was a very intense chapter. I could I couldn't just like leave it. Well, I guess it was a couple of chapters. Hi, how are you guys doing today? Are you having a good day? What? I feel like I'm missing something. You know when it like whenever you don't triple check things beforehand, you're always like, oh, I think I forgot something. The new raid in Power World sucked. Oh yeah. I saw someone talking about that before and I was like, oh shit, maybe I should start playing again. I got bitched at for things outside my control. I'm sorry. I'm guessing this happened at work and people were being fucking stupid. I I hate when that happens. That's happened to me a lot and it's every time. Like you know it's not your fault, but you still feel like shit. Welcome in, Louise. I hope that you will have a fun time here, then. Blah. So I have my ice pack. Hey, whoa. Why is the music changing? It's funny how cute the logo is, but then the, the game has such a... Um, not grotesque art style, but I guess, like, it's a very... Um, how would I describe it? I'm not sure. It's Gap Moe though. I started reading Boys Abyss today. Oh, you're in for you're in for a ride <laughs> in Boys Abyss. I read some of that, but I haven't um, finished it. Or well, not finished because it's not done, but like caught up. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I'm also kind of tired, but actually I'm not that tired. I got up at like 3 p.m. and it's kind of unfortunate because like I can't be getting up this late if I need to call the CRA. Because the estimated hold time is two hours. Way back when? Didn't this come out like earlier this year or late last year? Am I crazy? Hmm. No, why did you do that? Oh. Well, I mean, it's fun to have that. Like, I like that energy in a read. Oh, you started Celeste? Okay, if anyone starts Celeste, you have to tell me about it. I love that game so fucking much. There's no way to describe how much I love Celeste. <sighs> I'm like, okay, the developers are working on a new game and it's like a Metroidvania. And I'm trying not to project like Celeste movement onto it because like it can't quite be the same you know because celeste is a movement focused game whereas the their metroidvania is um it's gonna have combat in it which will change it dramatically you know hi jinko how you doing oh catching up with boys of this oh okay 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 nah i get you crispy i hope that karma gets them eventually Favorite Metroidvania? Probably Hollow Knight. I really like Ori, though. I find that a lot of Metroidvanias nowadays are kind of... I don't know. Maybe it's just like Hollow Knight was so good. I feel spoiled by it, you know? Like, it was so polished. I don't know how much experience Team Cherry has with other stuff. Oh, by the way, guys, for any of you Hollow Knight fans out there, did you see that they added, like, an age rating for Hollow Knight? Hmm? Apparently there's been... Or sorry, for Silk Song. For Silk Song. Silk Song. There's been a lot of, like, news about it recently. <laughs> or a lot of desperation. I get a lot of, like, articles... Praying for Hollow Knight or fucking Silk Song. Why do I keep saying Hollow Knight? Like, um, I saw this thing where they were saying that they were gonna, they were threatening to like get rid of the Hollow Knight subreddit if they didn't get Silk Song news. And I was, um, I was talking about this with Lopi the other day because Lopi really likes Hollow Knight, and I, I don't understand why people are so impatient. Like, it's only been four or five years. Guys, I'm an Elder Scrolls fan. This is nothing to me. This is nothing. Imagine how the, like, Half-Life fans feel. They know they're never getting it. <laughs> they know they're never getting it. At least with me. I know Bethesda's gonna take that cash cow, bro. <laughs> I know I have chances. I'm like, mm-mm. 
It is the first time meme. Yeah, it is. It's honestly not that much. Like, okay. I look at my situation and I just think, I could be a Half-Life fan. My life could be so much worse. Like, I could be a Half-Life fan. I'm just an Elder Scrolls fan. At least the modding community will carry. I, I don't know how to tell you guys this, but... I've been listening to like the same let's plays every night and like lore videos to sleep for the past like decade. Like if I go back, let's see, cause I, I listened to this YouTuber Grovana a lot. I never really played Half-Life though. I just watched let's plays of it. Let's see. How old is this? So this Oblivion Let's Play is... Tell me when it was last updated. So, okay, this one's six years old. Oh shit. And then I've been listening to... Uh, how old is this one? Well, this one is in Elder Scrolls, but... Does anyone know Paul Soares Jr.? At all? Or no? Paul Sorens Jr. He started as like a Minecraft YouTuber and he does like survival games although he's been active inactive for the past year because he said he was moving. But anyways, um, Paul Sorens Jr. He was one of the biggest escapist Let's Players and I've been listening to his playlist for like a decade so... <laughs> I, I haven't started yet Han, but soon. And Elder Scrolls lore stream, I've had those before. I don't feel like it's very fun for people. I just go in circles about how Vivek is a little shit. Yeah, oh, you did, Cap. I'm glad that other people watched Paul Soros Jr. He was like a big part of like him um, growing up. Well, I guess not growing up, but I think it's been, since I was like a teenager then. But it's still nice. It's true, the Hollow Knight community copes so fucking hard. The Bethesda, like the Elder Scrolls community, knows not to have any hopes. <laughs> Don't get expectations, guys. Oh, yeah, I really love Fudge Muppets video, uh, videos, but they haven't released uh, a ton lately. They, I know they jumped on the, uh, what do you call it, the Starfield trend for a little bit. But <laughs> people, Bethesda content creators quickly realize that... Um, there was nothing for, for them in Starfield. <laughs> Bethesda fans do not chug copium that hard. They just know that they get disappointed every time. They know that whatever issue there is, right? The modding community will fix for Bethesda. Shut the fuck up, Hamas. I love camel work so much. Have, have anyone here... Uh, it's like a cat. Oh, there's a new Camel Works video. Oh, it's Fallout. Oh, I'll still watch it though. I'll still watch it. I actually do want to do a Fallout Let's Play. I've never really played Fallout, but I've watched other people play it. That's also another Let's Play I listen to. This link. Yeah, I think I'll probably do one. Hi, Tinker. How you doing? I heard that there were a lot of issues modding Starfield, unfortunately. Hmm... Let's see. Hmm. Sorry, I was looking at the new videos. Also, if you guys like... Sorry. <laughs> I was opening a Camel Works video. If you guys like Fudge Muppet, you should watch Drew Mora. Drew from Drew used to be a part of Fudge Muppet, but now he has his own channel. Because I, his, I always got the vibe that like his style of videos were different. I still watch Fudge Muppet and Drew. And I think they're like on good terms. But, like, I think that Drew just wanted to, like, pursue content differently, you know? Because, um, the way that Drew does his videos, it's very much, like, a storytelling style compared to, like, uh, I think, what is it, like, Michael and, um, Scott? It's very different. Haha, <laughs> Michael and Scott. It's, it's very narrative style, which I personally like. I like it a lot. That's part of why I like Dark Lord Dash. Uh, I mean, I don't mind open world so much. My problem is open world when there's nothing to fucking do. Oh, by the way, is the volume okay? 
Sorry, I always get on a tangent when I talk about anything Elder Scrolls related. Can you explain what a dragon break is? Okay. I know you're joking, but I feel the need. So, a dragon break is kind of like when the timeline splits and... So imagine you have a line and it splits into four different lines and then they reconverge. Everything is true at the same time, but people will remember things differently. So technically all of these events happened, right? But people will remember only one event from like one timeline, you know, they'll remember the timelines differently. It's kind of like a Mandela effect. Uh, there's, um, there's a video of, there's like a Fudge Muppet video explaining what a dragon break is and showing a fucking diagram. If anyone wants to know, it's not, honestly, I don't feel like the dragon break is as complicated to explain as Kim is complicated. I feel like Kim is harder to wrap your brain around compared to a dragon break but i feel like there are also like a lot of plot holes with a dragon break like environmental damage or something or maybe it's just like you go to like a parallel universe and then they reconverge or something i don't know what's up kudo how you doing i'm doing a okay no it's not like a butterfly effect it's like everything did happen but maybe it happened to you and it didn't happen to someone else, but that doesn't make the, your experience, like, invalid, basically. I, I don't know how to better explain it other than that. It's like, okay, um, you go to a party and you each go to do a different activity. They're all happening at the same time, but you weren't present for that activity and you didn't even know that activity was like happening like to your friend. And then you reconvene at the end of the party and then you're like, oh, well, I did this. And it's like, well, I didn't know that existed. I did this. This is what was supposed to happen. It's like you all got different itinerary at the same place. It's weird. Dragon breaks are really, really weird. I don't, I don't, oh my god. But like, okay. <clears throat> it's not... Uh, also, the way Elders, like, Bethesda handles lore is that everything technically is canon, but not canon, kind of. So like, for example, if... Since in the Elder Scrolls 6, you... the Like, if you follow the Dark Brotherhood questline, you assassinate the Emperor, right? No, they're different timelines, kind of. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, uh, you assassinate the Emperor, and that means that the Emperor should be dead. In Sorry, in Skyrim you do it, in Elder Scrolls 5, not 6. But that means that in Elder Scrolls 6, if it's in past, like, Skyrim, right, in the future, that means the Emperor should be dead. But let's say you didn't do the... Um, Dark Brotherhood quest line in Elder Scrolls 5. That means that somebody did it. It's a canon event, just not you. I don't know how they're gonna handle the Civil War though. That quest line was not my favorite. Not a lot of people's favorite. But it's also not my favorite because it broke. It broke my game and I was soft locked. So I was not happy about that. I don't know. It's a very... There's a lot of Elder Scrolls lore, but, like, none of it is... Um... Well, a lot of it is not stated in the games. There's a lot of lore resources. People don't really trust, like, ESO, though. A lot of, like, lore content creators are not fans of trusting ESO. But they do, like... Um... Like, there are lots of Elder Scrolls, like, books, actually. It was not my favorite. There was something I was going to explain to you guys, but I don't remember what it was. I do not remember. I mean, if you guys want to watch some really, really good analysis videos, one of my favorite analysis, analysis videos of, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh, of Skyrim is by, I think, Duke of Wales. 
he does like a two hour analysis video comparing Skyrim to Beowulf and how your only method of communication is through violence, but then they take that like, um, it's encouraged to have methods of communication through violence because that's the only way you have any autonomy in Skyrim because there's, like, actually, like, the RPG aspect is very poor. So, like, for example, when Delphine uh, gives you an ultimatum, right? You can't really talk her out of it, aside from, like, with mods, right? But, like, the way of the voice is, like, kind of like a very passive thing, you know? and non-violent, very peaceful. Who's yelling? Someone's yelling in my house. What did I do this time? I didn't do anything. But yeah, it's very interesting. I liked it a lot. <clears throat> there were a lot of really good um, explanations. Chad Pelinal right White Straight. <laughs> he has interesting lore. The alien, like, um, like, war is really interesting. That's... Actually, that's a reason why, um, I think it's Meridia. Meridia isn't actually as good of a Daedra as, like, people think she is, because she sided with the aliens during the, the war, where, uh, Alicia was trying to secure freedom for the Empire. Well, I guess it wasn't the Empire at the time, but yeah, because humans were slaves before. <clears throat> Anyways, sorry, I went on like a 20 minute tangent about Elder Scrolls lore. You can't do this to me. This will happen every single time. I am ready to play the game now. Um, there are some, I think there's some trigger warnings. Um, let me look them up. Slay the princess. Okay, so... There are flashing images, realistic depictions of mutilation, disembowelment, realistic depictions of knife wounds. Okay, no biggie. If anyone has any, um, I guess if anyone feels uncomfortable with that, you know ahead of time. I don't think I'll turn anything off. But let's get started. I'm sorry, we'll actually play the game now. Mm, someone else copy pasted it. I don't have any knowledge of this game other than it's a horror visual novel game. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I didn't like the world anyway. Oh, okay, interesting. Shadow of the Colossus? It looked really sad. I don't know if I can do it. Oh my gosh, there's so many choices. See, okay, this is what I was talking about in Elder Scrolls. You don't get these options. You don't actually get the option to effectively roleplay. <clears throat> like, you're... There's this point made about being like a blank slate. Because usually you see the world through a character's eyes or your own eyes, right? And you push that onto a character, right? But you don't get that option in Elder Scrolls. Here you get a lot of options to roleplay. Hmm. We can maybe consider that maybe she's only... The only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Oh. I can see why this got good reviews already. This is already asking the questions that people complain that you cannot ask normally. What? Why is she yelling? Be back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's see. 
I, know, I like that it says explore because that means that you have the option to ask things without being locked in. No, I wanted to see what was going on. My sister was just upset you spaghetti about something. Let's ask this. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. How long is this ticking clock? You know what this game's art style reminds me of? Does anyone know that game where it goes in real time? Like you follow this little dude as he's in like a cave or something and it goes in like real time like you play it over the course of a year. Sorry, I'm eating my salad. I don't remember what it was. I remember watching a documentary on it though. Or like a video essay. The long haul? I don't think that's what it was. Let me see. Longing. That does sound right. Longing. Mm. Longing game. Let me check. Yes. Thank you. It's called the 9600 hour game, according to a lot of people. No, you were close. You were close. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. <laughs> Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end. And there is no changing that. Why don't you tell us why? It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Hi, Dwecky. How are you doing, cutie? Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Mmm. Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. I mean, she looking pretty cute. Welcome, Alexander. The end of the world. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. That's not no so bad. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. Not my problem. You have to put an end to her. I don't want to, though. Hmm. How can a princess left away in the basement end the world? Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. I want to see how they came to, like, um... I guess, what do you call it? Come up with this concept. Do you have any evidence to back this up? Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Kidnapping? This is terrible logic. Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Does it? Are you a monarchist? Mm -hmm. Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? Well, murder if is murder. Anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. Mm. He already has a bias. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do. like Nihilists or very, very evil people. <clears throat> but surely you're not one of those, right? Yeah, that would be crazy. Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. Well... Can you tell me what my prize is going to be for doing a good job? A good job? Yeah, a good job murdering. It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. Yeah, it's a participation you think sticker. It might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. 
People don't know me very well. Whenever they trust me that I'll like something, I'm, I'm usually like, oh, I'm sure. He is so sassy. He's taking my branding. Mm. Are you serious? No, you have to do it. I said forget it. I'm not doing this. Why? Look, I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to her. And if she's as bad as you say she is, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything until I've had the chance to meet with her face to face. Then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. I wonder if this is a metaphor for abusers. Then each and every one of us is doomed. So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It's a voice of the hero for a second. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty. I think he did and try to mirror my The floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. What about drugs? Uh, I guess I'll take the blade just in case. Oh, it looks like we can save. Let's save. <clears throat> oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, I see. I didn't see the selection for a second. Okay, well, we'll take it. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. I did kind of get that vibe. <clears throat> hmm. Hi, just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> Hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall of the basement. My only one. Oh, I did it. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? <clears throat> I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. She does sound kind of manipulative. Don't you dare. <clears throat> it's fine. We can just. Oh shit. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. 
You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. I wonder, okay, you know what? I have a feeling the game will end here and it's like, this is not the ending you're supposed to get, right? So, fuck it. Let's just say that she dies here. Feel better, Hazen. I'll go here. Because otherwise it wouldn't be an option. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Damn we not. Oh. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. They picked the wrong person for the job, bro. We are clearly not Holy qualified. Holy shit, that hurts! Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. We can still turn this around. Do you notice that we're not human? Look at our hands. I wonder if this is just a story of perspectives. We see her as something to kill because she's a minority here. I get that vibe. Let's finish her up. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here either. Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, I'm it's a him miracle up. anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding How is certain to How are we going to get a reward, bro? We're not going to fucking survive. What is this? History. Okay, so this is the log. Oh my god, let me go from, uh, me. <clears throat> okay, well. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. The two of you fall to the floor. This was fun. The princess gasps, her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder... Do you really think this is the end? But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Oh! Okay. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. The narration sounds darker. The music is darker too. It's looping. Okay, let's see what we have here in terms of options. Let's save again. I wonder, hmm. She's going to kill me again. Again? People don't die twice. 
You haven't even met the princess, and I hardly think she'd What's be capable of killing someone as skilled and courageous as yourself. Bro's buttering me up. What happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Voice of you know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. That's fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. Voice of the stubborn. Are these people previously that have come to kill the princess? That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. Let's assume I'm telling the truth, and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. We did our best with the information we were given. And we did kill her. And yet you still died, didn't you? So congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption <clears throat> that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. But nothing I do has any consequences. That's why I never have to deal with consequences. Right? I hope so. <laughs> Hi, Nuru. Hi, C. How you guys doing? It's going pretty good. The game's pretty interesting so far. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We killed the princess, the princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Did we fuck up and that world ended, and now we're in a different world? Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? I've been trying to do my taxes. It's awful. Ugh. Enough with the talking. We've got a fight to win. Nothing else matters. I couldn't agree more. The cabin and your destined confrontation with the princess awaits. All right, later, homeless. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. Oh, okay, you're asking me to save the world and you're giving me this much sass? Oh, it looks like maybe every time we kill her, we get more hmm, information. She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. That's what you told me last time. All she did was beat the shit out of me. How can she end the world? We killed each other last time around. How can I make sure that doesn't happen again? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. We didn't, though. Oh, this is maddening. Why do you keep asking questions? So we can make an informed decision. Oh, this is voice There's nothing wrong with getting the full picture of what's going on here. Sure there is. It's wasting time and energy that would be better spent fighting. Mm. You're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. What else would we even need to know? We've got all the reason we need for a rematch. Exactly. The less you know about her, the better. Who locked her in that basement? What is this place? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. She's like me for real, for real. If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? 
Why is this falling on me? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps, but it's just the way things are. Guys, they're trying to boost my ego so that I'll kill someone. It's working. Oh, I didn't know we were special. It's working on him too. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Him too. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Great, now if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. <laughs> Let's see. We'll save again. I don't know if there's like a shortcut to... We can't just leave. We're supposed to fight her. Where are you going? Away. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Uh, no, but I have GPS. Hmm. Mm, the only thing I'm going, the only thing that matters is where I'm not going, the cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. Quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. I'm gonna leave you guys on red. Oh, I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Yeah, that's what I just did. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. This world thought so. Uh, You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Wait, something isn't right. W what's going on? Where Wait. are we? Mm, wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? We're supposed to wind back up at the cabin again, but everything is getting fuzzy. Sorry, I accidentally skipped. I told you we shouldn't have come here. I told you. But did you listen? No. Hair? <clears throat> The world around you is unwound, its physical matter replaced by a textured nothingness. It is quiet. There is a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder as something other comes close. Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. Resistance. Fingers drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. I need something empty. I can crawl inside of. I need something shaped like me. Mm. Embrace the thoughts constricting you. This is a nightmare. Wake up. It's not. Return to your destined path or face the consequences. You're on a path the denial in the Jesus. woods. And at the end of that path the is a cabin. The real Slay the Princess starts here. You'll and know in the basement of that starts. cabin is a princess. Hmm. You're here to slay her. If you don't... R.I. Mm, or R1. Hold on, let me change the controls. Preferences. Uh. I. Skip unseen. It's, I want to skip only seen text. Mmm. Um,
I don't know. Maybe I need to change something. Uh, preferences. I don't know what this means. Sorry, I'm flossing my teeth right now. I got a cookie stuck in my tooth. No. Uh, will it be new? Let's see. What said skip? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I see. I see the issue. I think... I think I see the issue. Let me go here. I think it's... Under choices. Mm, maybe not. I don't know if I n need to explore these options. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can quick save. Wait. Uh, well, I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Tighten. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip <clears> on the blade. I wonder if the only way to truly kill her is to get her to trust us. You know? Uh. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate... Hmm. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Hmm. Uh, that, that'd be crazy. You go into this expecting to die. You're going to die. Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? Is it just me or does her voice sound off at the end of her sentences? Is it because she's very confident in her delivery? <clears throat> I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Mm. Fine then. I guess we're at an impasse. Well, I guess we are. Okay, Patrick. For the love of everything, just slay her already. Or drop the blade. Do something. I am doing something by doing nothing. Are you sure you don't want to talk? Yeah, I'm sure. For goodness sake, the two of you can't just stand around like this forever. Eventually, something is going to give, and I highly recommend that you be the one to take the initiative here. Is this a warning? Ah, oh, no, my pride! I don't want to be the one to drop the blade. That's kind of unreasonable, don't you think? Whatever, let's explore a different option. <laughs> The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just... talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. 
Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? This sounds like my chat. How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there. <laughs> Why is this one like a... What do you call it? This one is like an interviewer. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Um... I'll say this. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? Don't just tell her that. That's cute. Do you believe that? Do you think I'm some sort of... <laughs> <laughs> what? Monster? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? I'd rather cut to the cho the chase. I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, and how did I end up here? Wind up here, chained to a wall. <clears throat> mm. I was hoping you'd tell me. Oh wait, but there's this one too. What does the fuck do? What are you going to do if I let you go out of here? The princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. Hmm. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. I don't think I can answer that question in a way you'd find meaningful. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. You think anything that breathes is hot, Minnow? I kind of wish it wasn't voiced so I could voice act it. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. Hmm. What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness, or her majesty. Any honorific should she do. She really is really. like me. <clears throat> Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer. What's up, spaghetti? How you doing? <laughs> I can't wait for her to make me feel like shit with this one, guys. Oh, hold on. Let me move the chat. I didn't realize it was like in such a shitty position. My bad, my bad. Yeah, she said something. 
relationship are you god to be? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. How would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. Oh, fuck. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Hmm... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? She is. I'm sure of it. You know, that's pretty metal. I thought she was talking about, like, the chains. Like, I'm doing the chains. But she's talking about cutting her own hand off. Or, like, arm off. How long have you been down here? Too long. Okay. We've talked enough. Oh? Have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Hmm. Let's do a quick save. Literally. But also an actual save. I wonder how- how- does anyone know how long this game is supposed to be? Or no? Hmm, let's try this one. I'm going to keep you locked away down here. At least for a bit. We can get to know each other while I decide what to do. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. I'm guessing this is a flag thing, so... One way or another, I'm going <clears throat> to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. <laughs> uh -huh. I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Yeah, I do get the impression, like, from a dialogue and stuff, that it'll be a quick um, game. But if you say it's not, then we'll see. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. No. We're sticking to the plan and locking her down It'll here. be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay. We can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. I'm gonna get jump scared, bro. It isn't long before you start to drift off your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door will hold you very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrified. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. Bro, she had a dream that I was cheating on her and now look at the results. It's Jover for us. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. Yeah, but the, the effect here is like totally different. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by 
Hi, Brixie. I don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Well, that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. I could be innocent and harmless if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely does inspire me to play nice. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar, its lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all Wood. at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. Exhaustion, maybe? You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you. Can't I? She steps closer, one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter two, Nightmare. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the... Hmm. But I died. What am I doing here? I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, if he doesn't remember what happened, then shh, that's a very Wait. good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? It's a voice of the paranoid this time. Okay, that's why I wouldn't let me skip. Shit. <clears throat> I think you'll find yourselves very hard-pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. What are you saying? Was so paranoid? What if he hears us? Hmm. Let's go through this again. The voice of the paranoid will probably say something different. But let's assume I'm telling the truth, and all of this already really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine, I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is. You died last time. We couldn't trust either of you. And as far as I'm concerned, we still can't. Oh, okay. So the voice that you get depends on your answers. So in the first round, we did answers. We made like decisions that were perceived as stubborn. And in this one, we were incredibly cautious. We didn't want to kill someone who was innocent, but we didn't want the world to end either. So now we're voice of the paranoid. All we did was lock her away. And how'd that work out for you? No comment. Well then, congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And your solution is to send us back in there. 
you want us to slay the princess, or do you want the princess to slay us? Obviously, I want you to slay her. One of you poses a threat to the world, and the other doesn't. Anyways, I believe your other question was something along the lines of, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. I mean, technically we do have the power to end the world and not doing anything, so... What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess and now everyone's right back where they started. Sounds pretty consequence free to me. I'm using my brain power. Speak for yourself. From my perspective, there were plenty of consequences. I'm never going to forget the way she just made us stop working. And that's only scratching the surface. If what you said is true, it begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or have you found yourself in another world altogether? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? I can see why you get little misfortune vibes, Brixie. If she brought an end to everything and everyone, how are we supposed to stop her? I want you to succeed. You'll find a way. You're the only one who can. I wonder if the narrator is actually our rational thoughts and uh, the voice of the hero is our conscience, right? The narrator is our rational thoughts, like explaining everything to us, I guess. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. I wanna, hmm, is there anything new? There's nothing new in terms of questions, but... Also, that's why everything is a fact, quote-unquote. Just being around her in the end shut down all of my organs. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. quote you from last time around she's just a princess how can you possibly justify saying that she's clearly something far far worse she is just a princess whatever you think happened to you last time just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin and you'll be fine what does inner fursona voice mean i mean we're scaly not not a furry You're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. But I like making things harder. I meant more difficult situations. If you want us to stand a chance against her, we need to be armed with information. What is she really capable of? How are we supposed to stop her? Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. He isn't telling us everything he knows because he doesn't trust us, which means that we can't trust him. Stop talking yourself in neurotic circles and just get to the cabin already. I really do think this is a great metaphor for an abusive relationship. <clears throat> because on one hand you have the narcissistic charismatic person that will twist and turn everything you say or everything they say into something that will keep you there you know or get the result that like they want good night puffy and then on the other hand you have someone from the outside who's just saying oh just do it just leave them it's so easy to just leave you're overcomplicating it they did this and that you know it's like why aren't you just leaving no, you should do anything but that. We know what's waiting for us in that basement. Who locked her in that basement? What is this place? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. 
Don't overcomplicate things. If you look away, why can they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps, but it's just the way things are. You can't just goad us into doing something by calling us special. It's manipulative. Why are you trying to manipulate us? I don't know, I kinda like being special. Okay, fine. Maybe you can goad him into doing something, but he's not even the one who makes the decisions just like me here. for real, for real. I'm not goading you into doing anything. You already know the princess is dangerous. All I'm trying to say is that you have to be the one to deal with her. I know it doesn't seem fair, but that's just the way it is. Hold on. I know I kind of like being special. Okay, fine. Maybe you can go to him into doing something, but he's not even the one who makes the decisions here. Okay, so this confirms that you are the voice of the paranoid and it's reflecting your decisions and well i mean i already i already knew but like double confirms it you know and that the voice of the hero is just the general like the general consensus or like conscience that people would have going into this situation you know what i mean okay let's see and for what it's worth i know you have it in you to finish the job is this referencing a time where I tried to kill her before? We don't. You saw what happened to us last time. We need to leave. That's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. I'm... I wonder how much... Do you guys want me to go through this dialogue every single time, by the way? Because I feel like we're going to be here a lot. Good. Uh, I was worried he might fall for his shit again, but this is good. Whatever answers there are to be found, they aren't here, and they definitely aren't there. Oh, edit it. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Mm. Do you even know where you're going? Mm mm. I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. I relish the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. I'm gonna go walk in the opposite direction now. There won't be a new dawn if the world ends. There'll just be nothing forever. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. That's strange. It looks like this... You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've, but fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. Wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? You're supposed to wind up back at the cabin again. But everything is getting... What, what's going on? Where are we? It's finally happened, hasn't it? We finally cracked. The same world around you. <clears throat> Betrayal. This is, but this is new. This is new dialogue. That which dwells in the empty spaces contracts across the edges of your mind again. She is furious. Oh, okay. Betrayal. Every door you close on me as a door you close on yourself. Do you want to linger here, entwined with a creature you taught to hate you forever? Eternity never ends. Cold spite. Our infinities shrink into something else. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Oh shit. You're on a path. Mmm. Uh, do you want me to go reload it? 
I can reload this one. Let's see what happens. Let's explore something different. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, let's oh, try warning. freeing her. Before you go any further. Hmm? She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do <clears> everything <throat> in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't let's try doing what, what he says. said this time. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. But you're telling me to trust you. The interior of the cabin is plain. The smooth wood of the walls almost now. featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade is your implement. You'll need it Look if you want window. to do this right. Do you see the faces staring in the window? Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. It's just an empty frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. He didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. You're right. I was so stuck on the eyes watching us that I didn't even notice it there. What are you two talking about? There isn't a mirror. There's a table, the blade sitting on the floor, and the open doorway leading to the basement. There's nothing else in here. I'm getting gaslit! There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. We have to look at it. Unless that's what he wants us to do. And pretending it isn't there is a trick to get us to do exactly what he wants. I wonder if the mirror the mirror appears there every time in chapter two or the mirror appeared because we're paranoid and because we're paranoid we're imagining things that aren't there but mm, i don't know <laughs> why would you lie about there not being a mirror when it's clearly right there what's the point I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome we I am. We shouldn't waste time preening. But if he is lying about the mirror, it might be important. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? Maybe he's trying to keep us from looking because there's something horribly wrong with us. I mean, we aren't human. We know that. No, there isn't something horribly wrong <clears throat> with you. You look exactly how you're supposed to look. Now stop second-guessing my every word. Approach the mirror. Actually... Yeah. You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Did he make it go away? Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. <clears throat> different hand? It doesn't look different. We still had like a claw hand before and like scales. Maybe? Maybe I didn't realize? I get it. Is the inner fear of looking at oneself like post mirror clarity? Maybe? This whole cabin is different than I remember it being. Very different. He changed it, didn't he? It's like he's trying to make us doubt our reality. Calm down. Maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough of this past life nonsense. You haven't died. You certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Do you notice that? He's saying the three of you, but there are only two voices. So I, I guess they're breaking the fourth wall. 
or maybe they're including the voice of the stubborn from before but voice of the stubborn isn't here so i'm guessing it's just breaking the fourth wall so focus up a lot's riding on this explore take the blades you reach down and pick the blade up off the floor it would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon good steel can't lie to us is it gonna be enough though couldn't you have given us something else something i don't know better that's what than i was a wondering knife? just set the whole thing on fire could we have a bomb the blade is the only thing you need to finish your task you're more than capable of pulling this off so long as you don't lose faith in yourself those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death No, but he says, like, the three of you, excluding him, so, like, is he saying, like, the three of you, like, as in us discussing and thinking about it, the voice of the paranoid, and then the voice of the hero, is in, like, stop wasting your time and go kill her. <clears throat> Down to the basement we go. You cross over the threshold oh. and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. <laughs> I wonder this too. How hard is it to throw a knife? It can't be that hard, but then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place. It'll be enough. Mm. Oh, look. It separates it now. I don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Ra narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Okay, sure. Fuck it. Finally, a voice of reason. The rest of you should take notes. Yeah, so I was right. It is a three. It's us, then, like, us as a player, and then the other two. You know why I'm being a pessimist. I'm just asking questions. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. No, we can make decisions too. Hi, Bob. How you doing? She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. I can see the eyes blinking in the darkness. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Hmm. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter, because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Mm. Right, because right is the right way. <laughs> you turn to the right. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. I told you I was going to find you. As the princess approaches, Hey, old your girl. legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. <laughs> as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. 
Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? Paranoid really is me, bro. I'm so petty. I would definitely do this too. What's up, Crow? Have you played this before? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Heart though. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Heart. Lungs. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Nerves. Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. Why she have gloves now? She isn't attacking us. Why? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Why won't you finish me off? We didn't pay her price, bros. Let's quick save. Why won't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. She really is just like me, for real, for real. Okay, here. But let's hear it from me. <clears throat> Are you ready? To hear my impression of the princess? It's kind of crazy how the similarity. I didn't have any knowledge going in, but you know, it's kind of, kind of a little close. Oh, look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. <laughs> it's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now, and I'm enjoying the show. Bruh. This would have been so much fun to voice act. Oh. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Shit, shit, make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. How do we quick load? I did it. Load. Oh, here. Quick. There, there's a quick load. Maybe it's because I hesitated. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, your back. One moment, and then you're gone. Just like that. Ah, and there's the fear. She pulls away. But that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? I've already done that. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Mmm. Let's see. Oh, there's actually quite a variety. I don't. Is it more cracked? Oh yeah, there's a crack at the top now. What should? It seems like we only have. We only have a couple of questions to ask before she kills us. I think. So what should we ask? What happened after you killed me last time? I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I just can't let you leave. Well, I mean, I could. You're a lunatic. You know that, right? If you want to work with us, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? How about I just kill you instead? We don't have to be enemies, we can work together, we can be friends even. I'm not doing any of this, I'm not helping you leave, and I'm not going to try and kill you, so do your worst. Really? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see, I think... I'll pro I would probably ask this. Maybe this is why it's up top. What happened after you killed me last time? I 
tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me, and then... Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you're here too. I don't think I can leave without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Ah, chat. Are you one poor little creature? The princess slaying is not going according to my Keikaku. There is certainly room for improvement. Oh shit, why was it over here? Hmm. Well. It's a process, okay? You gotta pay for me to punch you in the face. If you need me alive, then why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you try being nice to me? I am being nice. You're alive, aren't you? And you died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. You seem miserable. Hmm. If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole quark and shutting down situation? I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Your will concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, she seems ignoring ethereal. the constant reminders of your breaking body. She doesn't even move as the blade sinks into her heart. We, we did it. We actually did it. <laughs> you actually went for it. Oh, you're going to regret this. I could be so much more terrible for you than I am now. Can she? We've already seen how she can change <laughs> heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You're not getting those stairs back. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. She falls to the ground, unmoving. Nerves. Oh. Oh, I got an I achievement. I can stop now, can't I? I can. Oh, finally. And now that she's gone. You can let us out of here, right? No, we're stuck here. But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? And now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. It means that you're stuck here forever. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I hate this. Time passes. Forever's going to end eventually, right? No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. It doesn't end. Do we now have a choice to kill ourselves? I feel sick. It doesn't have to be forever, though. Does it? Oh. What do you mean? The dagger is still there. We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? I guess that hasn't stopped us before. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? Because right now, you don't want us to do that. You're right. I don't. But if we've already saved the world, then why does it matter if we die? Why do you care? I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. Especially yours. Why? What do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. It's not like it matters if I die. I'll just come back again. Ah, yes. The whole looping thing. How unfortunate. You were only supposed <clears throat> to be here once. I don't like the way you said that. You knew this was a possibility, didn't you? Of course I did, though I'd rather hoped I was the first one. That explains a lot, though. Oh, you 
bastard. How much are you not telling us? <laughs> the the voice of the hero sounds so nonplussed. They're, it's just like, oh man, you should have told us. I can't believe you. Plenty. But it's all in your best interest. And the world's. And mine. She's dead and we're stuck in a hell void forever. How could telling us your secrets possibly hurt anyone? It just can. Look, this world is saved, but if you start over, for all you know, you're just putting another world in danger. You barely managed to land the killing blow here. What if you don't manage it next time? Huh? No, my game crashed. Uh, <laughs> um. Well. No. Okay. Oh. Oh, look! You can see the cursor is our hand. <clears throat> no, no, no! It's okay. It's okay. We we fixed it, boys. We fixed it. How about now? Is it secret time? Still no. I'm going to wear you down eventually. You might as well spill those sweet, sweet secrets now. Then we'll have something else to talk about. You're not going to wear me down. Oh, we should ask him one more time. He's on the cusp of sharing his secrets. I can feel it. I'm not. Either way, at least needling him is something to do. <laughs> Am I not a creature of biology? <laughs> I starve or die of dehydration before forever happens. I'm guessing this is like a time frozen thing here or something. That's a grim thought, isn't it? But I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Um, something you know? will happen to you before forever comes along. We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. Use it. I wonder if we're supposed to join forces with the princess and, and the world with it. And we have we were both actually victims and we were manipulated. Secret? The narrator ignores you. You can't just describe yourself ignoring us. But you just did. I can. Secret? The narrator continues to ignore you. Why no secret? <laughs> I've got the best company I could ask for. You guys. What more do I need? Oh, you could do a lot better than us. So true. Exactly. You'll be fine here. Just come up with a game or something to pass the time. Um. Green light. Red light. I spy with my little eye something that is yellow. Chat, take your guesses. What is the yellow thing I spot? Mm hmm, mm hmm. You can't see it, but you can guess. You can guess the item. No, it's not chat. Why would trees be yellow here? Where are you getting super chats? End of this month. You attention whore. Uh, a figurine. Close. Close. Actually, my pencils are any color except yellow. Because I usually only use mechanical. I'll, although I do have some Kiki's Delivery Service pencils. <clears throat> a chip? No. Demonetization? Not quite. Don't get me banned. A PC case? No, mine's black. A duck? Actually, mm, it's not a duck. It was close to a figurine. It wasn't quite a figurine. Come on, guys. Come on. I know some of you guys are stalking me and you can see my room right now. I'll try again. This is disappointing. Ah. <sighs> Beal manga? I don't have any, actually. Plushie! Yes! It was a plushie! It was a Star Guardian plushie. I have a pair of them. 
Well, I have, actually have a bunch, but like they're the Star Guardian mascots and they're yellow. They're the yellow ones. One has an eye patch and they're matching. You're welcome. Um, do you think forever has passed yet? I don't think so. Oh, that was a waste of time. Anyways, let's kill ourselves. You remove the blade from the princess's body. What exactly are you planning on doing with it? Um... Here, let's ask real quick. Are you stuck here with us, or are you capable of going other places? I'm stuck here with you. I wish I weren't. <laughs> Why? It'd be wonderful to be stuck with me. Feelings mutual. At least we're all being honest. Honest? Yeah, if only you guys could be honest, uh, or if the narrator could be honest about other shit, that'd be great. I hope I'm appreciated. That'd be nice. I get it. You don't want us to die because you'd be lonely. Oh, how sweet. Unlike you, I'm not capable of being lonely. Why not? Oh, sure you are. Give it some time without us and I'm sure you'll start feeling lonely. Yeah, maybe don't be stuck in the knee. Not that I'd even notice. Hmm... Wait. More time passes. You're still here. More time. More time. With these, I can never tell if it's. Oh, look, my cursor changed. I have now has a dagger. You see? But. I always wonder with these because sometimes if it's just like if you press it enough time the answer will change. More time passes. You tighten your grip. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Hard as you can into the void. Fuck! Now you're really stuck here forever. Ah, oh, fuck! I actually misclicked. <laughs> oh no, what are you doing? Oh no! No! I threw away my dagger. You mean, other than starving? Right, I mean, other than that. You wait, and then you wait for a little while longer. Your girl fucked up. But eventually the thirst sets in. And the hunger. The darkness of this place prevents you from wholly grasping the context of passing time. But that doesn't stop it from passing. Nor does it stop your biology from unraveling. I'm just saying, we really could have had like a better way. Actually, it doesn't make a difference. We could have ran into these boards over and over again. Or we could have made a dagger from one of these boards. Or from her bones. We could have used the... This is really morbid, but we could have used the board to, like, chop her up by, like, hitting the joints enough. And then... Uh... Then we could have made a dagger with the bones. But it's like, at that point, is it better to just starve to death? I don't know. The only things you know for certain are that it's long. And you that mean it steak? hurts. The vastness sure. of your suffering can't be adequately put into words. I can put it into words. Because it says the vastness of your suffering cannot adequately, adequately be put into words. Have you ever played League of Legends? That's all I need to say. <sighs> it do be like that. We really shouldn't have tossed the blade. Yeah, I didn't want to either, but I'm a dumbass. No. You really shouldn't have. But biology and time are immutable forces. And eventually, long before forever <clears throat> gets the chance to come, everything goes dark. And you die. 
But you know, I don't understand. He says he really shouldn't have tossed the blade. But he was one who wouldn't let us kill ourselves. Don't muck it up next time. The princess may be slain here, but she isn't slain there. Aw oh, man, we gotta kill her in like every universe. Oh, we made it to chapter three. You're on a path in what the What the fuck? Shit. This really doesn't end, does it? It doesn't matter if we kill her. It doesn't matter if she kills us. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. Huh. Yes, so it does. No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. There's a voice of the cold now. What if we do what she asked us to last time? What if we just let her leave? What's up, Harfal? Okay. How are you doing today? Welcome so, in, welcome in. You've already been here. More than once, even. Great. So you probably already know all about her, and all about the threat she poses to the world. Then let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends and everyone ends with it. Yourself included. Hi, Dino. How are you doing? Oh, did they really add a bunch of new dialogue? I've never played it before. Are they going to continue to update this? This isn't a game I would think that like would get updates, you know? Oh, threatening us with death, are we? And why should we be afraid of dying? We've already done it twice. All death has done is shunt us back to these woods where so we're forced be like the to listen to your voice, empty warnings cause... again and again. Hi, Nate. What's up? This place feels a bit different, though, doesn't it? I don't even know what I'd call it, but it's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. I wonder if you can change the voice of the cold. Or if, like, going to the third chapter guarantees that you get the voice of the cold because you're sick of looping. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading. And the world has already started to end. I wonder what would happen if her we didn't ask any questions influence? and we just killed her all I over really again. I really should have said all, that. Over It'll make your task more difficult. But now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your job, alright? Uh, this is a good question. I really love the choice of questions that you get. New princesses? What? What do you mean new princesses? Actually, maybe don't spoil it for me. I'm glad you're doing well, though. Are you the same narrator we met in the other loops? You were quick to accept that we've been here before. Suspicious. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. Is that supposed to be a riddle? If it is, it's not very good. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. So, yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. Damn! We've all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. Oh, I guess he's talking to us now. We've killed her and been killed by her, and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're gonna fall through this loop forever, eventually we're going to let her out. We might as well do it now. You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. Those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. So did my the eyes. The world itself is at a tipping point. No worries, I know. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an 
infinite loop. There's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't, and you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. Everyone is manipulating us, but we're starting to see the threads now. We just have to avoid getting tangled up in them. On second thought, let's not kill him. Let's throw him someplace that never ends. I'd like to see what that does to him. Wait, actually, maybe the voice of the cold is the voice of the cold because he had to wither away and die. If we got to kill ourselves, if I wasn't a dumbass and accidentally threw up dagger, maybe it wouldn't be the voice of the cold. Because it says, he's like, oh, let's throw him to some place that never ends, and that's what happened. We had to live through that. We couldn't end it of our own volition because we threw away the dagger. <clears throat> what happens if we don't go to the cabin? That's another option. <laughs> I did save here, right? I, I think I saved. Yeah, I did. Okay. Then she finds a way out on her own. Okay. So, standing around out here is the same as us letting her out. It's not, though. Only we don't have to see her. That's gotta be better, right? No, it's strictly worse. And why is that? She's already mad at us. Because it's cowardly, for starters. So? And because I'm a the pussy. unknown is always worse than the known. But really, all you're doing right now is weighing two considerably bad options. The only solution worth considering is slaying her, and whatever delusion is holding you back from doing that is just that. A delusion. If you already managed to end her in some other world, the only reason you'd be here is that you somehow managed to do it wrong. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna quick save and then I'm gonna go to the washroom real quick. Beer beat. Meh.
I'm back. I got a sandwich. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know why it was in the fridge. Ow. It's too big. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Should we leave? Here, I'll let you guys decide. What would you prefer? Do you want to leave? Or... Do you want to... Go to the cabin? <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Chicken burger. Actually, it's a bagel. Oh. Oh my god. Why is this stupid thing so... One second. <clears throat> it's really giving me a fucking confirmation on my phone. This is so obnoxious. Yes, it's me. <sighs> Whatever, my my thing's Jover. I'll have to pop it out. Mm -hmm. There we go. The fuck? Doc? Oh, there we go. Okay, well, it seems we are not pussies. You continue down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. I don't like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful inevitability. There must be something we're missing. Something that would make everything make sense. Hmm. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. Are you trying to use reverse psychology on me, or you're, have you just given up? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes, I'm done mm -hmm. trying to argue. Would you they love that? arguing. We won. That's it! Take it however you will. GG, I love winning. All right, let's enter the cabin. Hi, Ren. Hi, Saber. I'm doing pretty good. I'm not winning, The interior though. of the cabin is oh, long shit. and dark. A single, narrow hallway stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. The mm. only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? I wonder if it's because we threw the blade out and it's in the of abyss there and that's her isn't realm. A mirror. There wasn't one last time either, so why would it be there this time? I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let 
Let's pretend there is a mirror at the end of the hallway. And that, right now, we can't see behind it. There's a lettuce in my mouth, I'm sorry. What's there? What's behind it? If you're asking what's at the end of the hallway, it's the way to the basement. Are you saying there isn't a door? Are you saying that at the end of the hallway, there's just an opening again? He didn't say door, did he? No, mm. I didn't say door. Because there isn't a door, it's just an opening. It's just like last time, isn't it? Only instead of a visible empty void, <clears throat> there's an invisible one. For all we know, she could be standing right there behind the mirror. For all we know, she's going to jump out at us and there's nothing we can do to stop her. Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you. And certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. Approach the mirror. You slowly make your way towards the gaping moor that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. Oh, do we? Do we feel like we're being watched? I hadn't noticed. At least you're admitting to it now. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway, I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Wipe the mirror clean. I hate that I know what's about to happen. Knowing makes it so much worse. Why is the paranoid is so real though? Forward into the pitch black of the opening. Oh, that was a close one. All that stress and bleed up for nothing. Hopelessly staring into the void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Shit. Where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, <clears throat> she, the princess, constricts. Voice of the paranoid, your it's your time to shine. Snap. Never mind, we're Icy done. pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse, and you collapse with them. You're met with the terrifying visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. She really glowed down. You killed me last time, and that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so, so close to freedom, but then you took my body away from me. So now, I'm going to take yours, and I'm going to walk it out of here. And you? You get to watch me do it, completely helpless, just like you left me. Okay, maybe letting her in isn't the best idea. She clearly hates us. And what's your point? I thought you wanted to get out of here. This is a way out, and it's different. We might as well take it. Yeah, but not like this. She's going to make it hurt. Then turn off the part of you that feels things. Oh, like it's that easy? It is. Pain is just another sensation. If you can tolerate joy, you can tolerate pain. Except that pain hurts. Yes, that's what it does. That's the definition. That's such an interesting we, perspective. Let me explain to you why pain is bad. You need to explain to yourself why it isn't. Hmm. Don't worry, Saber. I totally understand. I wouldn't want spoilers either. Fuck. We're even now. You killed me, and then I killed you. Hotter under the bridge, right? I think you forgot something. Like the part where all this started when you left me to languish in a pit all by myself. Now it becomes something so much worse. And it's all thanks to you. Her voice is even more distorted now. You can hear them like if I were you, I would just want to get it over with. You lost whispering your chance underneath. to call the shots. There's, There's no going back to fix it now. You can either look on in horror or celebrate my freedom. But either way, you're about to become a passenger. 
Hmm? Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> For wanting to hurt you. I, I don't even know how I got here. But you did hurt me. Twice, even. And I'm not letting you do it again. Enough talking. We'll have plenty of time for chit chat once this place is far behind us. You remain pinned to the floor of the long hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Her torso stretches until her face is practically touching yours, her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? And crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Not like this. You don't even have a weapon, so I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. Okay, deep breath. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Is it? Is there any conceivable way Life that really this be like is that. fine? Yeah, I'm right. This is fine. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. It is fine. Everything is always fine. These consequences have no real impact on us outside of momentary discomfort. I'm sure we'll be moving on again soon enough. Your vision fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. You're awake. Mommy, chill. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway. Your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. It's so cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against oh. the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. It's rather rude to show up in somebody else's body and boss it around like this. Yeah, because... <clears throat> mm. It's really fun so far, Olive. I'm really enjoying it. This is my first time playing, so I don't know anything. I don't have any spoilers, actually, for once. This makes sense because the... Remember when we tried to leave the cabin in the first... Um, like, thingy? This could also be, like, a metaphor for schizophrenia, too, yeah. I know how accurate it is. But, um, remember when we tried to leave the other times? She's, like, something, like, to come in, like, to enter... Something me shaped. So I guess that was we're her. We're not gonna let you me out figure, of it. But, you know. That's the whole reason we marched all the way back we were? Up to the cabin. I was gonna kill her. Were we? I was. I know you were, but you were only for the wrong reasons. And what reasons are those supposed to be? Nobody should be able to be judge, jury, and executioner. We weren't always like this. We I've always been like this. We don't have to let her out. I've been storing up a little bit of will since she forced her way in here. Take it and throw us all into the basement. It's better than giving her what she wants. Your body, still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, 
takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff, your body reduced to a marionette pulled reluctantly along by your strings. I wonder if you can, um, I can, if these were recorded in different places, because I'm noticing different recording or like audio quality on some of these lines. Hi, Millennia. Hi, Spartan. How you guys doing today? <clears throat> Let's see. What should we do? Into me a bit. I'm a very prideful person. Let's In go down together. In a single moment of overwhelming willpower, you tear your body from the wall and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. Capillaries burst and muscle fibers tear as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends, and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, but fortunately for you, the distance you have to cover is far shorter. We're putting in everything we have. You're not. You're thinking too much about how she's hurting us. You're thinking too much about your body. It's just a body. Yeah, it's just a body now. Let me do so many terrible things to you. One, two, three. One, two, three. N next one we all go. One, two, three. You throw everything you have against her and manage, for one brief moment, to overpower the princess's hold on your body. But that moment was all you needed. Your <clears> foot <throat> slips a few inches, and you collapse forward, the darkness swallowing you whole. Her thought slips through you, unheeded. As you I fucking fall, wonder why. And fall. And fall. We got the Exorcist achievement, by the way. <laughs> we did it! We actually did it! Yes, we've really shown them. I don't think this qualifies as saving the world, but at least you didn't ruin it. What happens now? But I want to know what he thinks happens. Now. Why? What do you know that you're not telling us? Wait, it's just you, voice of cold, hero, paranoid, and me. Is the narrator really supposed to be us, like the player? There are some inconsistencies, but... Okay, so these lines, colored like this, are just an, a description. They're not the narrator. Because this is the same text that we had before, when the narrator wasn't um, able to be heard anymore. <clears throat> oh, maybe she can't perceive the player, maybe. Terminal velocity ceases and you feel a something, a mass, a growth torn out of you. You and the princess look at each other for a short moment. What? What is happening? Maybe that's like a higher being or something. That's the same thing that took us in the beginning. Maybe it wasn't her. Maybe it's using uh, the princess or something like that. Maybe the princess is actually being controlled by something else. And she thinks she's in control, but she's not. But you don't answer her before something takes her and leaves something in her place. You feel a force underneath your feet once more. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. The mirror is gone. 
I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we even go about looking for her. You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. I should feel better with her gone. But I, I don't. Don't bother looking for her. I'm sure it's just a waste of time. No, but it doesn't make sense if we're the narrator, because then we would... The narrator wouldn't say that he can see... He can't see the thingy, right? Maybe we don't have enough information. Because he couldn't see the mirror multiple times. And he wasn't present when this thing uh, came and... Like, the arms. Because he said he was, like, fading away. Hi, Benny! Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, raiders. I'm Amaya Whisper, and I'm uh, playing Slay the Princess. So far, we're in Chapter 3. I'm not sure how long we'll be playing, but I hope that you guys had a lovely time. What were you up to? Mm hmm. The narrator is gone. He is. Does that mean the world ended? He was never going to outlast us. Yeah, no voice needing us anymore. Feels good, but I also feel itchy. Cold. Though the narrator is aware of the possibility of a loop, but not necessarily, like, when it loops. He just knows that, it, like, it's looped based off of your reactions. Oh, you're playing Shashingo? I was thinking of picking it up. It looks fun. Is it actually helpful in, like, you learning Nihongo? It looked cute though, so I kind of wanted to play it just for that. <laughs> but uh, for those of you that don't know me, uh, once again, I'm Amaya Whisper. I do like ASMR. I do all kinds of streams. I play whatever pretty much. Uh, hmm. I also sing and I voice act. Those are very fun activities for me. I guess my one of my more unique things is I do interactive like D and D streams with my chat where we go on crazy adventures. But none of them have happened yet. Well, on this channel, anyways. I, I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. I don't think we have a choice. It's calling us. And not in a good way. For anyone coming in that doesn't know Slay the Princess, this is my first playthrough, but what I can gather is we're told that we need to slay the princess, otherwise the world ends. Right? And you can either choose to not slay her, run away, kill her, and there are like multiple instances. And in this particular instance, we time loop three times after not killing her, then killing her, and now we got possessed by her and we jumped into a void to take us both out. You know, I think I need the luck because we're both miserable right now. Ignore the cowards. You have to look. Approach the mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. I don't have a choice. The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone. But the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. The body, it's you. Mm. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Hmm. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. You recognize the presence inhabiting the shell. It's the entity that dwells in the spaces between. Something returns to the long quiet. It has surrendered its path of annihilation and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. You're that thing I met in this space outside the woods, aren't you? I, I thought that was a dream. Vague recollections 
empty tunnels without a mouth. I am sorry if I frightened you. This music is very pretty. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Solitary lights? What do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. Is this a collection of everyone who has tried or something? Or all the voices, maybe? What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. Bro, did she knew, know I was gonna stream us? We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe every parallel princess? Possibly, yeah. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Do you see this? Look at this. I don't think the princess is like really that autonomous because you can like see here it's propping up the princess's body, right? Each hand is making her make an expression, covering her eyes so she can't see what's really going on. Then like it's holding up her rib cage and her spine. The gift of a fragile vessel. Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. Or maybe it's the other way around. I'm not sure. This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others. So she found it in herself. She will do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? It's interesting how sympathetic, like, it gives you these sympathetic responses for the princess. <clears throat> are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Has anyone in chat played and finished the game, quote unquote? Like, at least to your satisfaction of like completion? How are, like, are we doing in terms of pacing right now? Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. That's my ideal woman right there. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Let her out of there! I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Return to me? Does this mean she separated herself and made her own consciousness or something? I promise that it doesn't hurt. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. 
but I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. Other endings? Question mark. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. So this means we can start fresh, like a new save, right? Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole, and perhaps then we will know our freedom. Oh, so I need a certain amount of endings. Okay. <clears throat> Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own Okay. Home. Translation, you don't need to find all the endings in order to find the true ending, quote unquote, but you need to find at least a couple more. I like when games actually like make it obvious to translate the win conditions for you, but also don't like beat you over the head with it, you know, like you're stupid. <laughs> what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. I much prefer the voice acting for this. For the other one. I think this is my favorite instance of voice acting. I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Hmm. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. So, <clears throat> this will start us from chapter one again. This is just being stubborn, I guess. <clears throat> Let's save again. I'm not going back. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Wait forever. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. She's dancing around a direct answer. I don't know if she's dancing. I think it's just a difference of perspectives. She's not wrong. To destroy something is to reshape it. It's just what we perceive as destroy. I mean, I guess, like, if she's aware of, like, how we interpret what things. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? I get just Monica vibes. If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? Mm -hmm. You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. My game crashed! What the fuck, bro? I'm getting robbed. Hold on, let me fix it. Mm. 
Let's see. It closed on me. What the you heck? You have returned Did to it? me. Oh. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left oh, your shit. side. Oh, shit. I never left your side. Attempt to outweigh your destiny. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, wrong one. Really said BRB. I was like, I don't, I don't. I was, okay, I knew it was a purple, purposeful crash. I just didn't know that it would, um, that it would, like, close like that. You know what I mean? Or, like, that it would reopen to this. How do I put it? She asks that I tell you to remember her. People did it with Monica. Mm. I'd do it. God damn it, woman. You're on a path in the woods. Is this exactly how the music sounded before? Hey, Parker, what's up? Hmm. I like this game a lot, actually. This is the first game I've really, really enjoyed in a while. Well, relative to my really enjoyment. No, I was like, okay, I feel like it could crash me here, but I was like, uh... Is it... Is it gonna reopen? You know? Because some games do that, but this one did not. Mm. Well, let's continue back to the cabin. Take the bleed. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly as well. beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? I love how, like... <clears throat> Your perspective changes repeatedly. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Let's try a different approach. Let's kill her every single time. See how we get. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? This voice acting I don't like as much as the other one. It's like it's still solid, but like I just really think that the other one was like an outstanding performance. To rephrase it. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now... Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh, this is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder, do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes, even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. I agree, DJ. <clears throat> I'm, I'm very excited to see a video essay on this. I really love video essays. I've actually wanted to... I've considered doing my own video essays, but I don't think my analysis is good enough. But it's over, isn't it? She oh, stopped breathing writing. moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? Of course it is, she's dead. I'm not sure. I feel like she has some kind of trick up her sleeve. Of course not, that was too easy. I wonder if 
there's something for immediately doing this, like after a certain ending, you know? Hmm. I'm not sure. It's over. You could check her sleeves if you want, but I can assure you that there's nothing hidden up there. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? No, I mean, I could do, like, I could write my own scripts, right? But, like, it's, it's a fucking pain in the ass, physically. <laughs> I really don't think you should do that. What? What's the harm in checking for a pulse? Oh, he's hiding something. Hi, Ray, what's up? It's different from what I... Actually, I don't know if it's different from what I expected. I knew there would be a twist. Like, probably a lot of twists. Because it can't just be that simple, you know? Actually, if anyone wants to start a video essay channel, I've wanted to be a voice for, like, video essays or, like, lore narration when someone else writes the scripts. Good night, Tamo. Because that's too much work for me. I wish there were more video websites for this game, but every streamer I've seen play it always has a new perspective ready. Really? I'm curious. How many um, playthroughs have you seen, Zappa? And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Check for a pulse. You lean down and place your hand against her neck, holding <clears> your <throat> breath as you search for a pulse, even though you know you're not going to find one. The game's really interesting. We definitely won't if you keep talking. I'm sorry, do you want her to be alive? You just saved the entire world from annihilation. Why are you suddenly trying to call that into question? Wait, what was that? You know what that was. That was the sound of a heartbeat, followed by another, and another. I guess I won't be dying alone after all. Something sharp digs into your side, the shock of it sending your nerves into a pained frenzy. Quick, let's get out of here. It's too late for that now. You collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her own deeper between your ribs. As you fall, she falls with you, exhausted by the effort, the little life that was left in her eyes fading rapidly. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. I guess we're even now. See you around. You were so close. Why did you hesitate? <sighs> it doesn't matter. At least you managed to take her with you. For whatever that's worth. Everything goes dark, and you die. I can hear the fan in the background of the voice recordings. And I, I empathize with that so much, bro. <clears throat> really? I'm curious to see their perspectives. The Razor. Oh, the Chapter 2. Chapter 2 has a different title now. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. Mm. But I already slew the princess. I can assure you that you didn't slay her, and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere <laughs> and stab us again. <sighs> nah, this one is me. I thought the voice of the paranoid was me. Nah, this one's me for real, for real. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. 
Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. You said this whole thing would be easy, but after we sank our blade into her heart, she just got up and started stabbing us. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons, so there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. Um... Those are two very different... Let's say for a moment you died last time. We mostly listened to you. How are we supposed to know she'd spring back to life? If she sprung back to life in this hypothetical scenario, then clearly you didn't slay her. But congratulations, you've been given a chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We stabbed the princess, the princess stabbed us, and now everyone's right back to where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Screw this. Who cares what happened to everyone else? She's not going to play fair, so we should do what we can to save ourselves and just get out of here. Her name's Ayala as well. At least you know not to trust her, but you do realize that everything and everyone includes you. Right? Yeah, fuck em. If you'd, We were so close to finishing the job last time. She can't get the jump on us twice. If we're careful, we should be fine. The cheated is so real, bro. He's just like me for real, for real. Okay, um... Hold on a second. Bro, it's exposing my steam. You're gonna see that I have hentai neko mosaic waifus. It's so fucking sad. I don't know why it goes to Steam instead of, um, what do you call it? Something, I don't know. I don't really care personally, I have nothing to hide, but. <clears throat> I'm saying. It's annoying having to go between them because it doesn't fucking detect the game when the game relaunches. Bruh. Uh, I have my desktop icons off. What the heck? It doesn't even show it. Capture specific window. <clears throat> it doesn't work. Game capture doesn't work on this. I wonder if that's because of the crashing feature. I have to like reselect it every time. So obnoxious. Alright. There we go. This should be fine now. Hopefully. I think it like I have to redo everything every single time it closes. New game. You're on a path in the woods. Okay, fuck it. You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna... We're gonna go. We're gonna do everything really straightforwardly and we're gonna see. This is literally a good... A game with a really good story. No, I'm not going to load my save. She will lie. She will cheat. We're not going to go through with this, right? No hesitation. Hesitation is defeat. We should make sure. I really... And why shouldn't we? I've told... Oh, but we hesitated. Hold on. Quick save. I had a quick save right here. I think... No, wait, this is too far. No, oh, it should be this one. Right? You're on a path. You're here. 
there we go. <clears throat> we can't hesitate at all. If I can do it, then you can do it. You didn't even give it a chance. Also, you're off topic. Mm. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. It's not clear whether or not but the that princess day isn't is evil. Today. Let's just get out of here. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find We still got cheated, bro. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the oh. only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that mm -hmm. you and the cabin are now far away from them. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. You told me I'd get a reward. Uh, <laughs> but I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving the world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's Did we all replace a the princess? Boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey, we're not just gonna stay here forever, right? <clears throat> Didn't hear the narrator. I'm happy. We're happy. Are we really happy, or is he just? telling us that we are mm, no we're happy i'm sure of it really well if you ever change your mind just let me know i guess more happy time passes though the word begins to lose its meaning time that is not happy happy still has plenty of meaning please shake yourself out of it we have to get out of here but I want to be the Lulu. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So it's your perspective of whether or not it was <clears throat> happy. Because it's just like, you know, it's it's Jover. Yup. Congratulations. 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 My hands hurt. <laughs> I love that little drawing at the back. Here's a track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by Hitting each track order. Hmm. Did I get an achievement? Let's see, what achievements do I have right now? 
<clears throat> I have 97 achievements in this game. There are 97 achievements. What the fuck? Um. Mm. 15% of people got the anger achievement. The good ending. You did it. You saved everyone. 26%. Bring a seething vessel. Bring the wraith to her. The body. It's you. No exit. Stuck in a dream without a stir to be seen. Hmm. This sounds like a pain in the ass to 100%. <laughs> well, it looks like we're gonna go through another one. Let's see, where should it be? Doko doko doko. Where was our save before? Here, right? We were so close to finishing the job last time. She can't get the jump on us twice. No, this is if not it. Load. <clears throat> I'm trying to find the one where we just saved, right? Load. Mm. Where's the one with the cheated? Do you guys remember where? No, we did one playthrough already. I'm trying to find the one with the cheated. Mm, should be 23. Here, maybe? You're on a path in your here. Let's see. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll the last one, the is it? Within. No, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to. This seems like it. Um... A warning before you go any further. Voice, no, this is Voice of the Paranoid. Oh my god, I got lost. It's the one with five saves? But they're... Huh? There are none with five saves. I guess it doesn't take that much time to just redo it. Mm. I thought it would be... Maybe I just quick saved. I probably did a proper save, right? It's probably this one. It's probably this one. Yes. We were so close to finishing the job last. That's the spirit. Ah, uh, yeah, it was this one. Okay. Just be quick about it. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't. Oh, and don't get stabbed while you're at it. Oh, she did last time with stabbing to death. How can someone like that end the world? So true. She just can. But she's still only a princess. You're fully up to the task you've been given, so long <clears throat> as you remember that. Maybe when he says she's still only a princess, he means for now? People locked her in. Look. Oh. I, of course you're special. If anyone's special here, it's her. Last I checked, we can't get up from a knife in the chest. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. You didn't tell us about her knife last time, though. That's because she's unarmed. And more than that, it's because there wasn't a last time. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. It's interesting how the narrator handles every situation depending on like how like the second loop because of the paranoid one he was kind of like easing into it more like he was trying to persuade the paranoid one more these ones is just denial a warning before you go any further she will lie she will cheat he couldn't be more on the money 
But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. The Entity said she was a creature perspective, so believing she is just a princess makes her just a princess then. Yeah, same with happiness. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Mm. Let's just approach the mirror straight up. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. So we can't access it until we get to the third chapter? But there was a mirror a second ago. Now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this place. This whole cabin is different from last time. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Yeah, this is chapter two after we killed the princess and then checked her for a pulse. So focus up. <clears throat> a lot's riding on this. This must have been so much work to make. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it the smell of fresh blood and you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below if the princess lives here slaying her would probably be doing her a favor that's right scraping i told you she has something i told you that sound could be anything it's probably just her chains dragging across the floor i am begging you to get out of your head her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah, she thinks she's... It's like she's a different us, creature. She doesn't even have to put on an act this time. It's different from the other ones, too. I wonder if she'll look different as you as descend well. the final step, the Wood. form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. I love how nobody can be trusted in this. Honestly, the most trustworthy, like, person is, like, the thing at the end. Because it's very clinical. What there's no, are you there's a little bias. For? You are here to rescue me, right? Hmm. I bet if we <laughs> imagine we go to save her now, we get stabbed. Voice of the betrayed. <laughs> I'm, 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 I swear to God, bro. Uh, let's see. Do you remember what happened last time? She's gonna be like, what last time? She's just gonna deny everything I say. I don't have a key. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. 
You should come over here and stare directly at the chains. You won't be able to find a key if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you better come right within close staring distance just to be sure. That's weird. That's I have suspicious. Absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. <laughs> or whatever it's like voice of the obvious. <laughs> she certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. But you know who is armed? You. So stop second guessing yourself and do your job. I love a woman that will just fucking kill me. But I'm nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. I know you have a knife, I'll let you out of here if you drop it. I'd like to trust you, but you're being so suspicious right now. Mm. It's interesting, and this one... Do you notice how the narrator is so confident that w it isn't a second time, right? But we are so confident that it's a second time here. Yeah, I was about to say, Bob, quote for man who is stabbed. You're not gonna stab me, are you? Hmm. It's like the princess. Okay, fine. I'm coming closer to free you. You better not try anything. Of course I won't. Against your better judgment, you walk across the room to within arm's reach of the princess. I don't like the way you said within arm's reach. I don't like it either. You hear the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Who's meat? Not ours, right? Hers at first, then yours. Your neck, specifically. <laughs> you collapse to the ground, your vision swimming as you attempt to focus on her bloody blade and the limp sack of flesh that was once her arm. What the fuck? <clears throat> Actually, well, since they said it's perception, right? She didn't have a blade in the first time. Did you notice that, like, in the first time we dealt with her, we hesitated and all she did was beat the shit out of her? Or beat the shit out of us, but now she has a sci-fi blade. In hesitating, I think that we made up that she has a weapon. And that we got in our head, and so now she actually has a weapon. <laughs> You're going to die now. That was such good delivery. And with a quick jerk of her elbow, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. The arms race. You're on a path in the woods. You're what? The interior of the cabin is sharp. A constricting mess what? of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? What? No, fuck that. If we're going to have to keep doing this over and over again, we're not starting in the goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. Oh my god, the voice of the cheated popping off. I feel dizzy. Ho oh, ho ho ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? <clears throat> the circle's getting smaller and smaller. Voice of the Running Hunted. Isn't an option Interesting. Anymore. I guess because we didn't trust her, it wasn't the voice of the betrayed. I I feel you get, okay, someone spoiled for me this one particular part. Is there a voice of the betrayed? What's the point of fighting if she's just going to win every Voice time? Voice the broken. It you think we're a bottom? Being sliced to pieces. We're better off just sitting up here and doing nothing. I'm not skipping lines. It automatically skipped to the thing. Bruh. It's not me. I've specifically not skipped a lot of lines. Great. So obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our... Third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? That can't be right. That's too much responsibility. I couldn't agree more. We couldn't be trusted with the fate of a single person, let alone the fate of the world. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table, a pristine blade perched. We take it. 
<laughs> okay, sure, you take the blade yeah. before letting me finish <laughs> telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. That's right, we've got to be able to win eventually. And what if we never do? So, are you just going to stand there, or are you going to head to the basement like you're supposed to? I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are. But there isn't a door, it's just that mirror again. She was very, very confident in the second uh, chapter when we approached her. It isn't a mirror. You really messed things teasing, up, didn't you? you know, it's like you can't like even, even see Even more so than the initial one. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. Approach the mirror. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just move it out of the way without looking. I don't want to see us. I'm sure we all look awful after dying twice. You're worried about our self-image after we died twice? Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't <clears> care <throat> what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. I love how petty he is, too. He's just like me for real, for real. Oh. Never mind. Maybe this one's like me. Reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. Eh, surprising. It was never there. Just an illusion. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Cap. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic. An unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hi, it looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. Fun for her, maybe. I didn't like dying all over again. Thinking about dying makes us as good as dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Nothing bad has come of it yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. Not to me. The past isn't real. There's only here and now. Your internal bickering is cut short Parasite? by the sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. Ew, maybe we can talk this out. I know... <clears throat> we started out on the wrong foot, but Miss Scissorhands, if if we could perhaps um, rediscuss this, that would be ideal. She's loose, and she is coming for you. Okay, now people are definitely gonna say would. You are going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Shit, she's coming for us, and I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Puff her up a bit. We're fighting her, obviously. Oh, that's easy. I'm gonna try flirting with her. The voice of the Rizzler. <laughs> we need to have voice of the Rizzler. Uh, we're gonna fight her. We're gonna have... Going to have a stiff upper lip about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. Well. Now. I've tolerated quite a bit from you, but this is a bridge too far. Please don't Wood. try romancing the princess. She wants to kill you. She's going to end the world if you don't stop her. Yeah, do we have to flirt with the murderous monster? I'd rather not. It's not like she wants us anyway. Speak for yourself. I could be the voice of the Rizzler. I'm fine with it. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> Um, 
give her the look. Ah, uh, I don't know if she could handle the smolder from me. Um, hmm. Uh, let's give her the look. The look? The look? We've all used it. No, we haven't. Yeah, do you not know about the look? <laughs> I love the casual conversation here. Even I know about the look. <laughs> you flash the princess the look. And a rosy blush rushes to the princess's cheeks as she breaks into a wide grin. Unbelievable. The Rizzler! Oh, is that how it is? Yeah, okay, I feel that. I like you too. Neat. Oh, be damned. This is actually going to work, isn't now it? Now she can stab me still. Still going to kill you. But now we can both enjoy a mutual romantic subtext to the murder. Or not. Fair enough. At least she likes us. I've never been liked before. Chat, this you? Blush still glowing in her cheeks. The princess closes the distance between you. Actually, she's kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. She skewers you. Ow. What worthwhile romance doesn't hurt at least a little bit? What matters is that she likes us. She's even said as much. Oh, a new one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? You're on a... No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? Where are we? <gasps> Voice of the Smitten. No! We became a tier 3 sub! Not like this! <laughs> I wasn't ready to go down this path. <laughs> I think we're dead. And that's all we'll ever be. Dead, 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 dead. Dead. <sighs> Guys, that's fine. You don't understand. She has like how many viewers, but she likes me most. You know, I like she's the one that like bros. She she let me she let me DM her. Like I don't think you understand. I'm special. I'm, I'm different. I'm not like those other guys. I, oh my god. You wouldn't understand. What do you, what do you mean, favorite simp? <laughs> okay, I'm not Super a simp. Iron Bob tips All right. I'm, I'm just, it happens I'm just different. like this. I'm not like other guys. I'm cool. She actually likes me. Those other dudes, she's just playing with them. <sighs> Whatever, man. You wouldn't understand because a woman's never liked you before. But I understand. And that's why sometimes she sends me pictures that aren't on her OnlyFans. So, I'm just saying. It's cool. You wouldn't understand it. Yeah, that's why she stabbed me. Other people, she wouldn't have touched them, but she touched me. I've never experienced contact with a woman in my life. <sighs> Sends shivers down my spine. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. I feel kind of dead, not gonna lie. <laughs> it happens just like this. So true though, Bob, thank you. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? I don't know. This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. Well, they did say it was a love story, actually. Now that I think about it. At the beginning of the game, it said it was a love story. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay. Whatever we do gets us another us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. As long as we keep moving, we'll win her heart eventually. Yo, he's on to something. Guys, I can confirm. If you um if you send supas, it will make you um win her heart. This may or may not also apply to me. Oh great. So it's going to get even more crowded. Even more deluded voices that think we might stand 
any kind of chance. Come on, show me something new. Um, panicking. Hmm. My Aka say different. Okay, but like it's about how many, you know. <laughs> It's a process. It's quality, quantity, all kinds of things. You wouldn't think it'd be so easy with like, you know, a couple. We gotta go into like the thousands. She wins by killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. Uh, sure. Um, or let's go Giga Chad. Well, maybe we'll get Voice of the Cold here. It doesn't work and she kills you again and again and then again and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. She's going to kill this body either way. I knew it. So stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. We just have to hit her harder. She skewers you. You'll have to be trickier than that. Then you skewer yourself. I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Huh, that didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. Just panic, flee. She skewers you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. <laughs> doesn't matter <laughs> how many times this takes, we can't you? give Nori up. tipped three dollars <sighs> okay, and 33 cents. Hey, and to bet. appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. Look at her teeth now. Her blades look different too. Excuse you. See? We're getting better. <laughs> Nori. That's a long haul bet you're playing. Thank you. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. None of this is working. Think. Think. Excuse you. We're getting close to something, can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. One last time, that's all we need. And then everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter four, mutually assured destruction. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll take it from here. Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Oh, well, my sister called me. What does she need? Hmm? Oh my god. I need to get a new phone. This is so annoying. It get like my phone when I use VTuber but studio, it gets so hot that like it takes it, it's so slow. Oh, what is over my dead body? Oh shit. Okay, so now we have voice of the contrarian. I know I skipped it. Mm, what if we throw it out the window? <laughs> Maybe this one is gonna be me. <clears throat> that won't be very hard. We've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? Oh, hold on. She's wondering where my dog is. Bear back.
I am back. Sorry, I had to get water. I had to check if my dog was upstairs. Because she tends to sit on the landing when she's sulky or she needs space. And today she and my sister's dog got in a big fight. So they were not happy. I know, right? Mine is the most unique because I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's because I'm different. I'm not like other three mirth. Wah. Hmm? I'm sure I can think of a better way to die. Skeptic. Okay. Yeah. They're all the same, really. Skeptic, contrarian. How about we stop thinking Maybe we just about got all of them. To die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. Yeah, I think we got all of them by doing this. The only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. Impossible for the chat. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing them. I love yeah, the voice of the chief so much. leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only... It's more of a slide. We know. Fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Please do. Cold isn't new. Are we have cold sure before. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room, or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Don't care. Just want to win. <coughs> Fine. You make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. Uh huh. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces, you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Find you a woman who makes the effort. I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait. And not for very long. Because I'm going to do it right now. What? I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to show you. It's worth the wait. But not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. Do, do, do. But are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk now? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. <coughs> yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay, then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches. That is new. Then it erupts. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Wood. Are you ready for what comes next? No. Holy shit. She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. I'm also on her Patreon. Yes. Behold the perfect woman. You mean me? That's me, right? Do you think we can throw her out the window? That looked painful. Well, even the voice of the cold says that looked painful. How is she still alive? No, Smitten, Smitten is on to something, you know. Finally, the princess turned into a Maya. Guys, this is actually what my model is going to look like. Hold on, let me, let me put us side by side so you can see the resemblance. Um, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? Holy fuck, we're identical. Am I getting in trouble for copyright? What the? Gotta watch my back. Hearts still beating. That's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. 
That's true, she does kind of have under boob. She doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. So true. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget. What just happened? It's so quiet. <clears throat> Interesting. So I I knew this before, but like every voice is like a different interpretation kind of compiling. We took our pills, guys. Yeah. Him too. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. You do not act, and yet through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach. But as her blow finishes its arc, you're already somewhere else. You're incredible. Your weapons clash again and again. You and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There is only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, and the faster the momentum volleys between you. An endlessly building crescendo, and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volition, and hers strikes too. Both strikes are lethal. Neither of you will survive. Neither of you will fear what's to come. This is a good ending. You do not get to see each other die. Nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Approach the mirror. You do so. You gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach towards the glass. It's time for you to see what's in it. The bloat you've grown. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. <clears throat> Are you the same being as you were before? How much has changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. The voice I think is really solid, but particularly the performance with this, like the long quiet version of the princess is my favorite because actually the, the like emotionless delivery or like very clinical delivery is probably like the hardest to nail, you know, like without it sounding unnatural or forced, but I think she does a really, really good job. Everything you say feels like a riddle. Can you give me a single straight answer? I'm sorry. Words are difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. She really just said your problem. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. It's nice because like there's like an air of like friendliness, but also mm, someone who's just like otherworldly that doesn't 
that abides by a totally different sense of morality and understanding of everything and anything, you know? The vessels, I think she's referring to the, the saves that we get, which are pieces of her. <clears throat> which, honestly, that's, that's really, really fucking hard to do, but they did it well. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. I think it's both friendly and familiar. It's not very, very friendly, but it's more like, um... Like... Amicable, almost, you know? Like, you can talk to her. And this is all done. Do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. Also, the softness of her voice here is really, really good. Moment, all I want is to know myself. You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now, inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Does this mean I'll block out answers that... Um... What do you call it? Block out answers that we've already explored? You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Why versus thank you. Why? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Do not worry. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Yeah, it's actually nice that they do that because there are 97 fucking achievements. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. Mm. What do you feel about me? These vessels I've been bringing you. I've hurt them. There is a hurt that dwells in them, but they are not me. They are thoughts and perspectives. <clears throat> they are feelings that inform my being. It's weird how in the long quiet, it feels like you have the most choice in how you can respond, you know? I feel like there's a lot more nuance in how you can feel here. Before this, it's mostly inquisitive, but these- a lot of this text is... Like, there's emotion to it, you know? Like, for example, you can say, like, thank you. You know? And it's like... And the more aggressive options are, like, very aggressive compared to before it's very clinical, you know? Oh, oops. 
The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I cannot be as I was before. There are new spaces that I must fill. So, you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective So it's whatever ending memory. we want to explore. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have given me enough to build a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. The aftercare after a rough interaction. I mean, we did try to flirt with her, and even though I'm a tier 3 sub, she said no. I will transcend in due time, and there is no way forward but to contribute to my awakening. Hmm. Let's save again. I wonder if it's going to pull some shit where it gets rid of your saves. Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. Destroy your body. You raise your will to end your life. But as it buries into the space your body should be, you feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Raid, go back. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. Bring the razor full to her. You're on a path in the woods. And Let me see. What achievement is this? 42% of players got this achievement. Really? Interesting. I love seeing the percentage when there are tons of endings in a choice-based game. I wish it had like a thing where you could see which percentage of people made which choices on their first run or something. <clears throat> or just in general. Yeah, a hand would be great. Hmm. Okay, thanks for telling you what to do. You make your way up the short path to the... Um, ignore him. Oh. The interior of the cabin is almost... Let's try a different approach this time. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's I'm all part of the manipulation. Man. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Good night, Mike. Rest well. <clears throat> yeah, I guess you can tell the difference. If we treat her as innocent, she's innocent. I was... You know, I'm just saying that I was right. It's all about perspectives. Remember in the beginning, in the very, very first playthrough, I was like, it's all about perspective. Like, everyone, it's just like, you can't have a reliable, like, thing. It's all about how you would choose to interpret things. <sighs> I know, I'm so cool. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You 
walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, <laughs> binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Actually, I didn't watch a playthrough. I just completely guessed because, like, I didn't watch a playthrough because I thought it would be way scarier and I can't deal with scary things. I gotta be in the right mindset. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. It's okay, she's gonna be riding on me soon. Hi! I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. <clears throat> I'll see what I can do. Let's go on this with a perspective of pure trust. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. And if there isn't any key, or if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? <clears throat> I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. Uh, and if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Hmm. Explore, try the door. Hey, let me out of here. Return to the bottom of the stairs. Um, uh, hey! Let me out of here! Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. Pain pickle. I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess. Try the door. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Return to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Hmm? She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. I hope she can retract those those teeth. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Oh, save the princess. <sighs> That's her only Fine. choice. Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. I don't think that's how that works. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. You don't want to keep her for later? What if we get hungry? She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. 
She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Difference in values? Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Approach the locked door. No. She has different we won't priorities, have any guys. Of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. I can't just let her escape into the world. I mean, she still has one hand, but we could just grab the other one. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? Um... Warn her. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her <clears throat> heart. I wonder if she'll remember that we tried to warn her, or if she noticed. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive! I assume so because the other options were slay. The blade! Move the blade! As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. <laughs> what are you doing? You told me to do something, so I had to not do it. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Oh my god, you fucking suck at killing me. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. The... I think, like, the fact that we say she doesn't know how to use a knife is just like us perpetuating her innocence in our mind. Because someone who is really dangerous would, would know how to use a knife. <laughs> I'm so sorry! With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. <clears throat> the two of you made your choice. Easy it's to over. use, but not easy to use effectively. Everything goes dark, and you die. There's a reason why, uh, what do you call it? You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. Which voice is and it going to be this time? And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, yeah, she did it cry. will be the end of the world. I noticed that. I was like, the narrator is really going hard with this, huh? Oh, you bastard, you're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. That's new, I think. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. 
If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? Ah, <laughs> oh, we got the simp! Beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Oh my god! Our beloved? Actually, remember it says at the beginning of the thing, well, I don't know if you guys saw this notice, but there was a notice saying that this is horror, but um, it said it's a love story. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. I wonder what would happen if we just killed her. Bro, um... <clears throat> the, what do you call it? Does any... Does anyone get reminded of Kuno from Rama One Half? We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort of sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. Okay, but no, that's fair. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Hmm. Those are two very different questions, but let's say for a moment that this really- You died last time, but you were the one who did us in, villain. Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. No, that I is my queen. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath we... and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. We didn't get the we didn't get contrarian for what do you call it for chapter two, but we did get it along with like every other voice. In the last ending we got the blades one. Anyway, I believe your second <clears throat> question was what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making- What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did- If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? She would never. She's a- Perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. Convoluted? I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. Princess bad, stop her, save everyone. Mm. I'm with them. I'm going to find a way to save her from Bad Cabin. That's right. You can't stop all of us. We're going to sweep her off her feet if it's the last thing anyone does. Are these really the sorts of people you'd like to align yourself with? <laughs> You're not at the cabin yet. You still have plenty of time to reflect on the situation. I just hope for all our sakes that you make the right call. Just be quick about it. Hmm... The only reason she was even able to kill me last time was because I let her. She could barely hold a knife. How is she supposed to end the world? She just can. Maybe it's her beauty that threatens the world. Sure, it's her beauty. Why not? <clears throat> and before you ask, no, we can't just keep her down there. If you don't slay her, she's going to find a way out. It's unfortunate, I know, but it's just the way it is. Who locked her in that basement? What is this place? People locked her. All this again. Look, I'm not so Oh, of course you're- Calling us special isn't going to make us friends, even if it did feel nice. Oh, believe me, the last thing I want is for you and I to be friends. But I'm a professional, and I'm not going to let my dislike for you get in the way of helping you save the world. Thanks. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail would just 
overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Not to sound like a broken record. Great. Now a warning. The she will lie. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. We're kind of shallow, huh? I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. I do, but I also <laughs> speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Well. The interior of the cabin is clean oh. and elegant. Its stone walls draped in fine thread. I see we've made it out to be some sort of fairy tale. We're on page three, boys. And we're the nine shining armor. <clears throat> Interior of the cabin is el clean and elegant, its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal princess, a pr prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched upon its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. I'm sure the princess would tell us there was a mirror if she were up here. In which case she'd be lying to you because, again, there isn't a mirror. I like how we get this even though... We got this response even when there wasn't a... The spinton voice. Exactly. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. Mm. Very different. Is it? I can't say I was paying much attention to the scenery last time around. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died and but you I certainly got you haven't been killed by the princess. You don't understand. I was actually a high school student in Korea that got hit by a truck before all this. Now look at me. I'm just a tier 3 sub. So focus up. Stop letting yourself get distracted. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. This really isn't funny. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second. And now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. Enter the basement. I wonder how it would change if we got the blade. Open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. We gotta set the mood, bros. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. The most normal VTuber watcher. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. Hello? Is anyone there? Chan? Chan, I need you to save me. Please. <laughs> you walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Oh, her dress is cute. There's a now. heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. Good night, Mall Clash. Rest well. My love, 
We're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. <clears throat> I want to see how many people got this ending. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. How does she know, though? Do you hear that? She said we're dashing, and she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain At least he's understanding. by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but... What's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic logical. and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. It's true, we didn't actually see a world end. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you, just do your job. Mm. What happened after I died? Let's see. I have to ask, did you end the world? No, no doubt, no doubt. Our princess would never. I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me to here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. Does this mean I'll get voice of the cheated? If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. She took that in stride. To a surprising yeah. extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid <coughs> little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. Interesting. Rescue her? What are you talking about? Did you forget that she's a world-ending monstrosity? And even if you wanted to unleash her onto the world, despite the complete moral disaster that would be, you'd have to get her out of those chains. Don't you see how dainty her hands are? You'll be able to slip her out with ease. No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. If her hand could just slip out of the chains, why hasn't she done it already? Because we've yet to present her with her freedom. I'm not sure I follow. Do we lube up the chains? Would you rather believe me, a passionate heart guided by love and my own good nature? Or would you rather believe the devil on your shoulder who tells you what you can and cannot do? I think I'd rather believe in facts. Ah, so you're one of those empiricists. What the fuck? One of us has to be. Then let me show you a brand new truth. Narrator, we courageously step forward and free <clears throat> our beloved from her bindings. Okay, I noticed this before, but it seems like, um, depending on like how strong you were with your choices, I think the more action the voices in your head can take. No, I can't let you do that. If you take another step, like the cheater the princess, instantly I'll skip the narrator. Wand take over our body and force us to try and kill her? I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain tight anecdotes. Yes, no, you can kill people and with hands, right? if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> You approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. 
I'll be damned. We're doomed. Well. She became anime, bros. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. Yeah, the power of Delulu is really strong here. I'm free. And you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. I think she's smothering us in some other stuff, too. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? What do we do now? Hmm. Oh, what do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? No. I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. I'm waiting for a twist. Something's gonna go horribly wrong. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? <clears throat> I wonder what she'll say if we say this. Uh, let's go here. Back. Do you want to end the world? Are you seriously asking her that? What? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? <gasps> Bros, I'm living the dream. Honestly, the world sucks. People are a plague and I hope you bring a slow and painful ruin to them all. I can't believe that the fate of the entire world has been left in the hands of a misanthrope. Humanity sucks. Okay, if that's what you think is best, then that's what we'll do when we leave. We'll bring ruin to everyone and everything. Nothing will be left standing in the wake of the unceasing entropy we'll unleash upon all of creation. I knew it. Like, you can see, like, in her eyes, too, she's drawn to look very naive, right? And just, like, kind of like, whatever you want, whatever you, you whatever you want to do, king. <clears throat> this is me for real, for real. We'll bring ruin to everyone and everything. Nothing will be left standing in the wake of unceasing entropy. The unceasing entropy will leash, unleash upon all of creation. Okay, she's so, so real. Whatever we do next, we should not let her out. She can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us. And then we pro like, it's literally just what we project onto her. Because, like, no normal person would have, like, fallen for us this hard, right? But because the voice of the smitten is like, oh yeah, that's gonna be my wife. I'm gonna wife her up. She, she wants this. It, like, mirrors your perception. <clears throat> and that's why... Maybe, hmm, that's why there's a mirror, question mark? Hmm. You have to want something more. But you need your own thing. You just met me. You can't base your entire happiness around me. Okay, if that's what makes you happy. Is she broken? What's going on is she's lying to you, only she isn't a good liar. Are you starting to trust me now? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, look at her eyes. It's, like, becoming more simplified. Look at her hands, too. She has, like, chibi hands now. But what would make you happy? I just want to make you happy! This isn't right. I don't know what's going on, but this isn't right. I fail to see the problem here. She's just sweet on us. You don't have to act like it's a big deal. Hmm... I want you to make me unhappy. Okay. Really like chat. I'm getting the Doki Doki Literature Club vibes right now. I want you to make me unhappy. 
Okay, if that's what makes you happy, I can make you unhappy. Is it just me, or does it feel like we're alone right now? Like we're the only ones here? break let's see oh there might be buffering okay <clears throat> you don't get the chance to ask another question nor will you ever it's time for you to leave memory returns no she was our perfect match she's gone where does she go should we try and find her is that a why is it here? Why now? Hmm. Of course you're scared. This is not the end for you, but it's not the end for me. Or this is the end for you, but not for me. It's going to be okay. You just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. I guess for them it's their death almost. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt. You can see how in our answers, right, before we didn't have these answers, but now that we've had more endings, we're becoming more and more like the the entity in the long quiet. Like this comforting, like, almost nothingness, you know? That's not the end. Whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Are we going to be handsome? Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. Withered. Never mind, we're fugly. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I see. <clears throat> you find yourself in the long quiet once again. You're at the cabin. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. It can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. She sounds different this I am time. I everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you, you are like me, even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit, even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours Good night, hon. Of your soul. I'm glad that you had fun watching. I feel like nothing was real until I met you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what was I gonna say? Hold on, I need to grab my wrist brace. I feel like her delivery this time around is different from what it was before. I feel like we connect and I am a bitch. Well, I said you're a beautiful girl, I ain't upset you. Who's speeding? So 
not bad. Cause the way you look tonight, tonight, never forget it all. Oh, Fiona, your face has touched my That's because you chose contradicting endings, so it's like you're building something that shouldn't work. Maybe? Something like that? Maybe? I... I feel like in this delivery, it's actually... No, it's flatter. In this one, it's flatter. In the other ones, it was like emotionless, but like empty. In this one, it's just flat. It's like a straight neutral. You know what I mean? Just like how our art style changed. It doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Does that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? Maybe it's just in my head, I don't know. It oh, says shit. that your heart is gentle. That even in the darkness, you are guided by compassion. What did I say? Oh, it didn't give me my response. What did I say? Does anyone remember? What do you think of this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Mm. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen. Just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths. And my attention is turned inward. Except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Do you still not care what I bring you next? I care about your gifts. But I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did. I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. Hmm. Have you figured out what you'll want when we're finished? I really love the script writing in this game. The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence oh. me. Self-voicing enabled. Self voicing disabled. What the fuck? So, wait, does that mean? Self voice. I yearn for what I have always. Self voicing disabled. Our awakening. What the Other fuck? Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Self voice. Explore. I am still planning to kill you once we're. Explore. You. Oh. Self voicing disabled. This must be for people with vision issues. If anything, it makes me more like you, and I don't know what that says about me. Ah! I was right! Thank you, Alexander. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. My gift to you is to let you choose your path, and my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. I'm ready to go back. I will be here 
when it is time for us to meet again. The Deconstructed Damsel. You're on a path in the woods. 31.8%. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a print. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, you can tell me how many I need. I don't mind. Oh. My leg is sore. Mm, I should have gotten up more. My thighs are sore, bro. It's old age. Here, let's... Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna load. Yes. Five loops. That sounds perfect. The princess takes your hand, the last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it. <laughs> because moping is the only recourse you love blind fools have left me with. He's mad because he didn't get bitches. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. That's a familiar move. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair! We're supposed to leave now. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Is that how it works? Is it? What's up, Naz? I'm having a pretty good evening. How about you? Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her. Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you will ever know. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm just along for the ride at this point. Do you think you can open it? Mm. Nah, I'm Giga Chad. Okay. Yeah, you've got this. You place your hand on the door and... The lock clicks and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? <laughs> ha! I knew it. Your words are no match for the pure strength of our hearts, bound together as one. You and the princess make your way upstairs and the blade that's right there's still a chance for you to do the right thing take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late mm, nah i'm good you're enjoying this aren't you you're taking yeah. every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer i hate you you are petty to me i can definitely be petty back that's the way out we're going to leave together just like you wanted Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin, and then you step outside. Romantic haze, your love will set you free. A happy ending at last. We did it. What should we do now? Where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. But you don't get the chance to make that jacket. Nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. She's gone. Returns. And is that a... What is that supposed to mean? Do it then. End us all. Hmm. We're still withered. Oh, 
Oh, is this the same ending? I think this is the same ending, guys. There were some different options, but we didn't get those. Yeah, no, I think this is the same. Did she look like this last time? No, she didn't. In the version last time... Yeah... Yeah, this is- okay, it's different, but it's not different. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Bring the damsel to her. So we did get a different ending, You're but... on a path in the woods, <clears throat> and at the end of- Doesn't look like there's anything new here. What kind of approach should we try this time? Okay. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. Let's try to be aggressive but not bring the knife. Oh, this doesn't say, bye, I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you. So we could be an asshole. Um, hmm. Let's see. Hey, I think I'm here to save you. Should we lie? Let's be evil, but stupid. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble. He's probably just going to manifest work. a dagger. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You walk down the street. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. You were lying when you said you were here to rescue her, but regardless of your... Okay. Good night, Alexander. Rest well. <clears throat> um, what's your name? Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named princess princess? Mm, so princess is your name? Like I said... You can call me Princess, if you'd like. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name, though. Everyone has a name. Okay, that's weird. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. I don't wanna. Hmm... If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating? Or drinking? I don't see what that has to do with anything. This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? 
Mm. What are you gonna do if I let you out of here? I'm sorry, but I just can't trust you. I'm so not out. Get the blade. Mm, I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up here for a reason. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. I don't actually know what that reason is, but you don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation, right? You have all the explanation you need, and you should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. I was sent here to slay you. You're supposed to. You're apparently supposed to end the world. Hmm. But I don't think you're actually dangerous. It, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. That's... How long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Hmm. No, which is why I don't think you're actually dangerous. Sooner or later, you'll learn to trust me. Hopefully it won't be too late when you finally come around. Thank you for believing me. Now, can you help me get out of here? <clears throat> I bet we're going to get the skeptic here. I still have a few more questions before we leave. I'll see what I can do. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the print. Hmm. I'm gonna check upstairs. Okay. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but is someone else here? Uh. You try the door. Your shout. You're here. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. Oh, she's gnawing. I don't have any options. Oh, shit! Without hesitation, you bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. The wound drives her to the ground. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. I'm not so sure. Don't waver now. She beat our ass in the first playthrough. As you ready your blade to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear at her arm. Your knife cuts into her again and again as you're tackled to the ground, your body racked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. That switch is crazy. Excuse me, it's actually called Gap Moe. Slay the princess. Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Hmm. No, no. Give up. Are you serious? As what's left on your blood pools around you on the cobblestone floor, the blade falls from your trembling hands and clatters uselessly against the ground. I suppose you simply lack the will to finish the job. That's true, I do have fan fangs. I almost said fans. I don't have those. Ah. You see them? 
Let's reenact that monogatari toothbrushing scene. I'm just kidding. That scene actually, that scene kind of fucks with me. <laughs> Not gonna lie, Loki makes me kind of uncomfortable. <clears throat> oh no, not that. Return. The princess, wounded but still alive, nervously jumps at the blade and kicks it far away from you before retreating into a dark corner of the room. Her shining eyes watch you from the darkness, unblinking and curious as you bleed out. We can only hope the wounds you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, they'll kill her before she can reach the outside world. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend, but you were just another monster, weren't you? This is the end, isn't it? Before you can answer, everything goes dark, and you die. The beast. Well, she is looking kind of feral. I'm not gonna You're lie. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path, is a cabin and in the you're here to mm, wait hasn't this happened already it hasn't or if it has i certainly haven't been a part of it we've just met for the first time you and i if he doesn't remember what happened if he doesn't remember what happened there's oh, something it's the voice else trapped us here you're not trapped here nobody's forcing you to do anything though the only sensible thing for you to do right now is march up to that cabin and slay the princess Hmm. Those are two very different questions. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died. We did our best with the information we were given, and yet you still died, didn't you? So, great, congratulations. You've been. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? I'm going through like some of this audio again for like anyone who is like just listening by the way we're just going through it for the first if time. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? All the more reason to keep our wits about us. Should we even return to the cabin? We could find a safe little hole somewhere instead. You have to go to the cabin. If you don't slay the princess, she's going to end the world, which you're always going to be a part of, even if you're cowering in a hole. Hmm. Revolve around dragon breaks. But then we would remember something different than her. But I guess it is about perspective, right? Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. Hmm. She killed me by ripping me to pieces. Uh, uh, pieces. Don't get me wrong, I hated it. Why do we have to clarify that we hated it? But how can someone like that enter the world? Mm. She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more. You'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Okay. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Let's go to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat. Does a cat lie to a cornered mouse when it plays with its freedom? Or is it just acting out its nature? I was wondering about the voice of the hunted, because the voice of the hunted isn't very scared. It's more just... Rather than the voice of the hunted, it's more the voice of the hunter. <clears throat> or someone that kind of understands nature. And it's very, almost like rational. Like, yeah, it makes sense that she'd try and kill us, you know? I don't see why that matters. A lie's a lie, and if anything, she's the one who's cornered. She could have gotten out of there whenever she wanted to. We should trust nothing that she tells us, only what we hear and smell. 
That's a very roundabout way of saying that you should listen to me and take this seriously. Maybe. Back to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is ruinous and dilapidated. It feels like no one has lived here for a long time. Wind rushing in through cracks and holes in the wooden walls. The only furniture of note is a termite eaten <clears throat> table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Oh, I see. So that was okay, I didn't I did notice this, but like the this is basically the same as the paranoid one, except in the paranoid one you saw eyes everywhere. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hmm. Let's just go straight into the basement. We haven't tried this. Actually, let's take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Now we go into the basement. Oh, well, the mirror disappeared on its own. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what's left of an old wooden staircase. It's still sturdy enough that it's you like can make den. your way down in one piece, though you'll have to be mindful of holes. The air seeping up from below is oddly warm and wet, as if you're descending into a jungle. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Good night, Wiz. Rest well. She growls up the stairs. I can smell you. She sounds almost... feral. Impatient. Or maybe... Eager. You carefully make your way down the stairs. The last step gives way to the damp yeah, there was earth quite a floor lot of a starlit then. pit. The walls are obscured by an impenetrable darkness, giving the illusion that the room might stretch on forever. You brush against the wide leaves of plants that surround you on all sides, seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground wilderness. The jungle is pressing in on us, hiding her from view. She could be anywhere. You see only a flash of the princess before she scurries away into the underbrush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. Remember, she's just a princess. She is certainly not just a princess. You're not helping. It doesn't matter what she is. It only matters what she does. I guess part of the reason, too, the narrator says, oh, she's just a princess, is so you can correct how she looks in your mind. Because it's all about how you choose to perceive her. Her shining eyes appear between the leaves, staring hungrily at you from the darkness. I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. And a little splinter clutched in trembling hands won't save you from me. I like how guttural this version of her is. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Move, now. Where? Don't you hear that clinking? She's in chains again. We're fine. You're about to attack me, aren't you? I can see right through you. We don't have to kill each other. You know that, right? Let's move. You lunge to the side, picking a direction on instinct. As you land, you're buffeted by a gust of air, disturbed by the sudden motion of a massive body. The princess. In an instant, she's pounced on the spot where you would have been, her chains rattling across the floor behind her. Before you can blink, she's gone, vanishing once more into the shadows. But you you're faster than you were before, but you're still meek, reactive. I fucking knew someone would say Ray. would. You whirl around to find her, and your gaze meets hers, a pair of shining eyes peering out at you from just beyond the basement stairs. That screech is familiar. Hold on, let me VA the princess real quick. So she's cut off our escape. Shit. What do we do? <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. We don't have to kill each other. It's a little late to bargain, but fuck it. What if I helped you? What if we left together? If you could get out of here on your own, wouldn't you have already left? You cannot reason your way out <clears> of this, <throat> fledgling. There's no compromise with what I am. That makes sense, since we see her as a beast, and a beast wouldn't compromise. 
At least she's up front about her intentions. Run for the stairs. She's right there. We have to wait for an opening. That's fair. She'll kill us if we try and run past her. What do you want? I want to swallow you whole. Okay. And I will get what I want. Okay. You have no exit. You have no hope. Oh. You live and die by my whims. And my whims alone. Okay. Don't ask her what she wants. Just slay her. Is that all the advice you have? We don't even know what she looks like. Some specifics would be very helpful. She's just a princess. Don't overthink it. She is clearly not. She's coiling for another strike. Be somewhere else. We're on the back foot. The back foot keeps us nimble keeps us alive. It doesn't matter if it keeps us alive if it eventually kills us. We need to take back the momentum. We need to do something. I trust the hunted, bro. Mm. Oh, interesting. What should we do here? Survive? Wait for her to strike and hit her back? Play dead? Stand still? How exactly are we supposed to take back on the momentum here? We have the blade. I assume all she has are nails and teeth. Let's use our advantage. The steel claw is small and she is large. It's dangerous to fight back. It should only be a last resort. Mm. Survive. <laughs> jungle, barely moving out of the way before the it princess really does sound like past me. you with a speed that makes her practically unseen. <laughs> oh my god, we're twinsies. <clears throat> but why? Why do you want to kill me? We say as we, you know, fucked her up the last life. Why does anything kill anything else? She needs to. I didn't say I wanted to kill you. It sounds like she wants to do something even worse. What she wants only matters if she wins, and you're not going to let that happen. Mm. Okay, fine. Why do you want to eat me? I don't question who I am or what I want. I simply do. To act is always better than to react. To do is always better than to watch. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you do well to listen to her. Less standing around asking questions, more doing mm. exactly as I say. A tickling sensation rises at the base of your neck. Flee. We can't keep doing this. Yes, now's our chance. Quick. And then what? We ran we for the stairs. Fuck we it. We don't plan ahead. Act on the now. All that matters is that we stay alive. She could read your cringy fan fictions you wrote back in 2008. Nobody should be subjected to those. As you turn to sprint for the stairs, you feel the air <laughs> shift. You instinctively glance behind you just in time to see the princess lunge from the shadows, more unhinged and dripping, eyes fierce and full of hunger. She is too quick to outrun, too nimble to outmaneuver, too determined to overpower. This is her domain. You are devoured. I guess that's it then. Unfortunately for you, no, this isn't it. You are in a dark and caustic place, a thick, Fibrous lining constricts around you, its slick surface impossible to grip. Bro, we got bored. Scrabbling uselessly at your surroundings as they compress in on you. Your lungs can barely expand in such a tiny space. Not that the humid, finite air grants you more than a few shallow breaths at a time. The liquid pooling beneath you starts to seep into your skin. You itch, then sting, then burn as the acid begins its slow work. When I killed you, I tried to leave this place, but it wouldn't let me. You belong down there, it screamed at me. The world is better off without you in it. The flesh around you rumbles as the princess begins to move, her thundering footfalls twisting you helplessly about. Your skin protests as the corrosive liquid sloshes around you, but there will be no respite for you in sight. The burning grows stronger, and you can feel layers of you being peeled away. We definitely don't smell good. We just went to WeebCon. But you, you don't belong down here. 
You came from somewhere else. You came from out there. So I consumed your dead heart, and I carried it in my throat, and I draped what was left of you on my back, and I threw myself against that door. She stops, her muscles tensing around you, and through the muffling layers of her flesh, you hear the whine of straining metal. And with a pop, she lurches forward, your body lurching right along with her. Her chains. She's loose. But even then, it denied me freedom. You cannot fool me by draping yourself in decay. I know your true nature, and it is suffering. Gravity pulls at you as you're hefted upwards, the distant creaking of ancient wooden steps barely audible over the thudding of the princess's heart. And then it was gone, and I was here. A new enclosure, a nicer cage, but still a prison. I learn from my wounds. You're alive now. We can leave together. Does that work? Could she free herself if we're alive in here? Do you really need me to give you a definitive answer for you to understand that the situation is grim? Stop her. Do something. You still have that steel claw. Tear through her before we are her. Survive. Or we could use it to make this quick for ourselves. If she needs us in order to leave, we could at least deny her that. That is a bad thing to do. Can you talk to the cabin? You could have asked me before swallowing me alive. Could, could she have, though? I acted on my will, fledgling. And you acted on yours. The strong triumph. And the weak submit or perish. I understand Can you talk it, to the cabin? And it understands me. Talking is for those who don't know how to listen. Your body is violently jostled, the disruption causing burning skin to slop from raw muscle, and you hear what you can only assume is the princess pulling against the door to the cabin. The cage is still locked. I don't think we can talk up. We are drowning in death. There's no more space for words. Mmm. Okay, let's try and dig our way out. I'm so very, very patient. If it takes lives and lives and lives to swallow my way to freedom, and that's what I'll do. Your body is violently jostled, the disruption causing burning thing. skin to slop from raw muscle, and you hear what you can only assume is the princess pulling against the door to the cabin. The cage is still locked. I don't think we can talk our way out of this. Good night, Spartan, rest well. We are drowning in death. Okay, well, fuck it. Mm, let's kill ourselves. We didn't get to do it before. In an act of spiteful <clears throat> defiance, you pull your weapon to your throat, your shaking, ulcerous hand clenched tight around its hilt. And then you draw it across your bubbling veins. Your blood flows out, filling the tiny space inside the princess. You start to fade. A waste of a good life. It's better than giving in to her, but in the end, the opinions of stray voices mean little in the grand scheme of things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Gonna be a jungle now? We are a path in the woods. We have no beginning, and we have no end, but something cold and unnatural sits watching us from just beyond our edge. Oh, I guess this is the fifth His loop. gaze pushes against our borders, curling them in on themselves, preventing them from stretching to the places they need to reach. No, 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 that's all Hi, Joel. You're not a path in the woods, you're on a path in the woods. Who's even saying that? That's not... That's not the princess. Is it? Oh no. How many times have you been here? I think this is our third? That's bad. That's very, very bad. It wasn't even supposed to reach two. If you're at three, well, no wonder things aren't the way they're supposed to be. Let's get our facts straight. What happened last time? What could you have possibly done for things to be like this? 
I don't know. The thing that sits beyond our edge speaks his logic into us. He tries to grasp at things that cannot be grasped. He tries to stare with wide pupils at that which can only be held from the corner of the eye or with a passing glance. Shut up. The rest of you talk. What happened? What did you do? We're part of her because she consumed us. Can she hear us if we talk? I can hear everything, little one, but you don't have to be afraid of me. There's no place where you end and I begin. Nothing can So we got assimilated? Not anymore. Good night, Ray. Rest well. It shouldn't count as her eating us if we offed ourselves. We're still here, though. And if we're safe, isn't that better? Combination I guess this of everything. Is fine. Doesn't feel half bad. Miles better than being dissolved, anyway. She ate you. And now you're convinced that you're stuck together. What a mess. He doesn't understand. We aren't convinced of anything, and we aren't stuck together. We're one. This is how we're supposed to be. Can't you feel it? I've heard of becoming one with your love, but this is ridiculous. Nah, this is what I signed up for, clearly. Mm. This thing watching us. What is he? I'm not watching you. I'm trying to help you. That's not an answer to our question. I don't know what he is. I only know that he is something other, and that he wishes for you and I to tear ourselves apart. I do want that, but only because it's in your best interests. It's in everyone's best interests. You won't be able to slay her unless you remove yourself from her. No. He wants us to kill each other. I wonder if this is all part of a cycle and we've done this before and now we're doing it again and then we're gonna do it again and again and again. I don't. I want you to kill her. Don't be charmed by her faux solidarity. You're not in this together. She's the only one who poses a threat to the world and she's trying to make you go along with it. You don't have to enable her, especially when you have what it takes to stop her. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, I've had enough of this guy. How do we stop him? Okay, let's say I want to stop her. What do I f do? I feel like I can't do much of anything right now. Why should anyone do anything right now? This is fine. I like being like this. Why are you being nice to me? Aren't you a monster? Didn't you eat me? I can feel the pressure of the outside pushing in on us. What are we supposed to do about it? Whatever we are right now is an abomination I want out. Mm. Here, let's let's try assimilating with the princess. We push back. It may feel like he's everywhere, but presence isn't strength. Otherwise, he would have torn us apart by now. There must be a crack in the walls of this prison. There must be a way for us to be free from him. She's trying to use you. After everything she's done, you should be able to see that. I may not have been around to witness it, but clearly you remember what happened. How about you try remembering how it all felt? Explore, remember how it felt. Turn inward and find your freedom. Well, it says explore, so... We can't go back to that. We can't go back to the fear and the hunger and the pain. Not after being something as beautiful as this. Um... Doesn't all that conflict feel so far away right now? So petty? We've been posed against each other by something that understands the strength of our unity. I can feel a thumping, a heartbeat. 
it, like a distant terror that keeps getting louder the more we pay attention. Please, stop. If you let it in, we'll fall apart. Don't look at it! Well, since you told me not Hold to... Hold yourself together. We're no strangers to effort. We can push this back down. Something might do us in eventually, but I'll be damned if that something is a thought. She told me not to, so I have to do it. Please, don't make us remember how I was. And just like that, you start to fall apart. Become the... <laughs> That's great. I can remember it now. I didn't like being eaten. I'd forgotten how much it burned. And the air was so hard to breathe. But she didn't care. She didn't care at all. At least we didn't have to sit through it to the end. But I think she owes us, don't you lads? She barely felt more than a little indigestion while we burned away inside of her. <laughs> As you remember the terror and pain you felt at the hands of the princess, you start to remember something else, too. You remember that you are a distinct being with a finite form and a mortal Even body. our existence is only as we perceive it to be. There is a shifting of the space around you, the infinitesimal movement of your molecules rearranging back into the shape of what you're meant to be. Guys, the game is just everything everywhere all at once. No, I devoured you. I won. I put things back the way they were supposed to be. Some division, when so, can never truly be mended. A cavernous gash rips across What's whatever it was you thought you were. A cabin comes into being among the trees. It approaches, and it swallows your body whole. And then you find yourself blade in hand, exactly where you need to be. Remember how she said before in the long quiet, she was like, my roots are somewhere you cannot reach. At the center of it all is the princess, a wooden and fleshy heart beating with an unbroken rhythm. You're filled with a sense of purpose. Strike at her. End this once and for all. I feel empty, don't you? This doesn't feel like a fight. This isn't what I wanted. Where's the victory in this? I feel safe. She isn't dangerous anymore. We could leave her. We could both live. Do we have to do this? You have to. You know you have to. I never really wanted to kill you. Not really. But we can't be the same as each other. I had to put an end to whatever happened to the, happened to us. Mm, we can cut her free or slay her. What do you guys want? Do you want to cut her free or slay her? It is up to you. Dun 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 dun. <clears throat> You're gonna have one heck of a VOD to go through, Joe. I will leave it to you guys. That's a pretty big majority to say no. That's surprising. I didn't expect that. Well. It seems you guys do not want to slay the princess. Okay. You devious little bastard. If you think I'm going to let you free her, you have another thing coming. And that other thing is... We'll just have to wait and find out when it happens. Just ignore him. 
What's he gonna do? Lecture us into submission? He can talk all he wants. Clean your room. Right now. Is lecturing you into submission working? Monster women are pretty You're fine. You're tired, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm... Fine. Whatever. Cut the princess down from the roots that bind her. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Good luck getting her out of here. He's so passive-aggressive. I didn't think you would do that. After everything. Aw, my cute little torso. I'm gonna put her in my pocket. It's so cold without you. But you don't get the chance to respond. Nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? It's gonna be okay. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is gonna be the end of everything. The thing reeks of death. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. Hmm. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. I'd like to be somewhere nice. Maybe there'll be a good fight there. Maybe we'll find her again. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You've unraveled. What do we look like? It's hard to see with the... With my... Um... Lamp on. <clears throat> you find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. We are at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. Do you think there are people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. You and I are the only things that interest me. The music sounds different, like the aria sounds stronger. I think we're some sort of like chicken thingy. Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is like a shadow of me, twisting vines in search of answers. She will make for a curious heart. Do not mourn her. She has found what she yearned for. Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. Fair. Are we almost done? How many have we done? I thought this was the last one. Maybe it's the fourth one? Wait, what's called Null, sorry? When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator. And he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their minds are empty. Existent. 
but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Oh, you were saying that to her. No, I, practitioner, I thought you were saying um, null and um, response to something that I said. Never mind, I get what you're saying now. Hmm. It was in the spaces beyond. Hmm. He does. And when I find him, you and I are finally going to have answers. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. That's true. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? One. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. If this is the last stage before completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. You've already tried waiting, but I understand if you need more time. Are you going to close my game again? I'll wait with you. She's going to close my game again. I will see you when you return. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into- If you close that box, will you become another- This bitch, not again! <sighs> I fucking knew it. She is such a tease, bro. Well, this is why we can't have shit in this house. You have returned to me. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Why won't she just let me do it? I'm ready to take me back. Next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. <sighs> Bring the wounded wild to her. What percentage is that? You're on a path doing? in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Hmm, 22% of players. <clears throat> Let's go again. I, I'm not gonna lie, I really wanna get to the ending now. Turn around and leave. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn around. Hmm, actually, I definitely know where I'm going. Somehow I doubt that, but I'm fine. But fine. I suppose you just good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. I knocked out because I was exhausted and I had a whole fever dream while listening to you play this and woke up expecting it to be your VOD. I'm still streaming, I know, surprising. <laughs> Loving how the tiny glimpses into the library only show the slay the princess and slay the spire. I, well... It's because I just looked up Slay. I have more games, but like I was looking for this game specifically because I actually was installing it um, when I was in the waiting screen. So uh, I I have a lot of games. <clears throat> I mean, I can show you out of mine. It's no biggie. But, um, what do you call it? It's just in the search bar, that's why. I actually am quite organized with my games. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads. Mm. Okay, we'll actually go to the cabin this time. A warning before you go any further. 
She will lie, she will cheat, and she, fortunately, she's only a princess, whereas you are a valiant and talented warrior. We are? It'd be easy, so long as you stay focused. We can't just go through with this and listen to him. She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Well, we're, we were told to slay the, the princess just because the narrator says so. But the we're interior stuck in of the cabin is almost entirely a bit of a bare. situation. The air is stale and musty. Mm. Let's take the blade. Just checking in on you. Oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. She already doesn't trust me. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Hmm. <laughs> I think it's because voice of the hero is like the general blank slate or slate. Not, well, I guess not gen general blank slate, but like the general thoughts that you would have before you have any impression. Just like common sense stuff. Yeah. It changes multiple times. I think there are at least three to four curse cursors. Hmm. We're gonna go the gatekeep gaslight girl boss route, maybe. That giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? No. The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? <clears throat> we should drop it. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face, unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> oh. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Hmm. How long have you been down here? Too long. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. Don't just tell her that. <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. It sounds like she's saying what she thinks she's supposed to say. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? After more than five hours, I can genuinely say I like this game, but I don't think I would like it as much if I was the one playing it. That's fair. There are a lot of games where I really enjoy watching people playing it, but, like, actually playing it myself, I'm like, mm, maybe not. But I don't really realize until I actually do it, usually. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here? chained to a wall. Have they told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? Mm. No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. Sooner or later, you'll understand that I have your best interests at heart. Hopefully sooner. How sweet. Now be a pal and help me get out of here, would you? We can figure out how to deal with them after I'm free. I'll see what I can do. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. 
They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Mm, these aren't the same as all... Well, I mean, they're kind of similar to what she said when we were Mr. Sim, but we didn't ask as many questions now. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Well, I mean, she is, but, like, the delivery is totally different. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Hmm. I'm gonna check upstairs. Maybe there's the key still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. I'll be here. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. Hmm. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Let me out! Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. I hope that you enjoy it. There's so much to do. Mmm, try the door. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Christ I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Return to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens. She's also a lot more assertive in this one. Save the princess. Against your better judgment, Oy. you place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. You cut into her flesh. See, look at the cursor, it's bloody now. The blade is sharp, and you make quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have Approach any of the door. that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. You can see how different her expression is. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Warn her. Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. We have feathers. Resist. The blade. Move. The. Blade. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. I'll make this quick. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. I feel like she's going to be more effective about this. Like, when she kills us, it's going to be pretty fast. Because she'll actually know what she's doing. Maybe I'll see you in another life. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. What did I say? Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. I hope it was worth it. I swear I heard a tea kettle in the background. Prisoner. Are we the prisoner now? Dun dun dun. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. 
Okay, no. Oh, don't you start grandstanding about <laughs> morals. The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. Don't forget what he did to us the last time around. I wouldn't trust a word out of his I mouth. I figured it'd be the skeptic. There's got to be a way out of here, for us and for the princess. We just have to keep trying. I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you two, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. And as far as trying to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large. I told you about but the state of the situation it's... less than a minute ago. Those are two very different questions. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or if you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. The absolute irony. Well, that's one way to put it, I guess. Interesting, the skeptic responds first this time. You really don't remember what happened last time, do you? You practically forced the princess to kill us. That doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'd do, which is honestly all the more reason for you to not buy into whatever self-delusions the three of you are crafting. But this is a thought experiment, so I suppose I'll continue to give you the benefit of the doubt. If I did practically force the princess to kill you, it was probably for a good reason. Did you try and free her? Did you say something really mean to me? Because if I really did what you said I did, you probably deserved it. I'm a professional, after all. So he admits he's petty as fuck! Sure you are. Anyway, I believe your second question was, What's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Well, it's three because there's skeptic, hero, and then player character. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? What a conveniently ambiguous group of things for her to ruin. For all we know, the princess left the cabin and never saw another soul. Oh, how I wish that were the case. But if the princess weren't a certain inevitable threat to the world, the four of us wouldn't be here. And yet, here we are. You're talking in circles. No, I'm talking in facts. Just be quick about it. Uh, all she did was slit my throat. She just... You haven't given us an ounce of proof. You do know that, right? What proof could you possibly ask for? Literally anything. <sighs> Fine. Check your pockets. Check my pockets. You put your hands in your pockets and pull out an envelope with the words, The Evidence, written across the front. This can just be a drawing of a dick. Within, you find a note in your handwriting. It reads, The princess will end the world if you don't stop her. This is an immutable truth. What is this chicken scratch? Oh, we kind of are a chicken. That doesn't prove anything. How do we know you didn't just forge our handwriting? I wish I could tell you more, but there are some rules I have to follow for all our sakes. Please just trust that these rules are in place for a reason. I'm on your side. You mean you're on our side as long as we do what you tell us to? Exactly. Because you not doing what I tell you to do means you're putting the world at risk. I think we've got everything out of him we're gonna get. But now, if you don't mind. Let's go to the cabin. A warning. She will lie. Yes, yes. yes. Don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Did you just say wink out loud? No, I didn't. Wink. <laughs> just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. Into the cabin again we go. The interior of the cabin is less a cozy woodland retreat and more like a dungeon. 
A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, this uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. The only furniture of note is an iron table, bolted to the floor, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. This is a new track. He definitely did not. Does the mirror not count as furniture of note to you? Because it should. There isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. I wonder if the narrator never sees a mirror because a narrator is never supposed to assimilate with the princess. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. I think you know what we have to do. I want to look at how handsome I am. Let's not get caught up in vanity, but we should definitely take a closer look. Whatever it is, he must not want us to know about it. Is this some sort of rehearsed bit? Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? Mm, approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Huh? What was that? Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago, and now it's gone. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. Maybe it'll be back. This whole cabin is different from last time. Very different. If you go to the mirror without mentioning it, he just gets confused. Yes, but why? Did he change it? Or did it change all on its own? Maybe it's a different cabin entirely. How isn't that a novel thought? Maybe you haven't actually been here before. I hope this means you'll finally drop your ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. Don't get distracted by minor details. Let's not take the dagger and just enter the I'm basement. I'm afraid I'm going to insist we take the blade. We're in a dangerous situation and I'm not letting us go down there without a weapon. Are you sure? She killed us with it last time. What if she turns it against us again? Yes, I'm sure. And I've already got a plan for that. Still with those past life delusions, are we? I hope part of that plan is don't give the world any monstrosity your only weapon. Because unless you've decided to arm the princess, I don't think you need to worry about her having a weapon. Peachy, we'll be fine. Okay. I'm trusting you. Don't I get a sit here? What's the big deal? Normally, yeah, but not about this. Call it a reflex. We take the knife as we go. Wonderful. You do exactly that, sweeping the knife from the table before proceeding to the basement. Don't worry about it. We have a knife. So what? It's not like we have to use it. No, you don't have to do anything, but you do well to use it regardless. <sighs> Moving on. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path, dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. Does she remember us? You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Oh. She looks up at you. The heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves. The chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. So much for cutting her out of here. Do you hear yourself right now? Cutting her out of here never should have been on the table. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. That was there last time too, wasn't it? Maybe that one's for us. 
It was. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. Hmm. I'm not sure you need to do much of anything. Do you see how locked up she is? I'm just gonna leave her here. Or I can sit with her or slay the princess. I'm gonna sit with her. Oh yeah, I just you realized it's been like almost the princess, six hours. But she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might as well put her at ease. Sit where you were told to sit. Let's be respectful. You do as she asks and sit on the floor. Still a good distance away from her. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? Hmm. <clears throat> Um, I am following instructions, uh, I'm being respectful. As a tier 3 sub in a past life, it's very important for me to be respectful. Ayo, Sion! Hello, my love. How are you doing? How was your stream? What were you guys up to, for those of you that don't know me? Hello, I'm Amaya Whisper, and I'm playing Slay the Princess. We, by the way, I'm just gonna, out of consideration, out of the kindness of my heart, we are very, very close. Oh, I don't have you potted here. Let me, let, me, let me log you. Out of consideration for, you know, those of you that don't know me and have not played this game, I am very, very close to the end. So, if you don't want spoilers, then maybe, maybe you should come join at a later time. But hi. I like, hmm, what do I like? How do I introduce myself? I like ASMR, singing, voice acting, and I play all kinds of games. I particularly like very interactive things with chat so if you really like interacting with a streamer i am the streamer for you what were you guys up to yeah this this is spoiler territory soon mm, i've been here before am i the only one who remembers that oh are we acknowledging that i thought we weren't going to give away the game but yeah i remember I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. Did you think I would lie to you? Because I would. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated things. I want to play some Nautica, but my PC blue screen twice instead. You know what? Maybe it did a favor. Subnautica is super scary. I can barely play this game and what was i playing the other game oh, i was playing corpse party i'm trying to slowly build up my horror tolerance because i'm a big weenie and i get scared in minecraft so yeah it's i don't know if it's been working but you know i'm trying my best so. <laughs> i'm sorry that it didn't work though i hope that you can get to work next time subnautica is still very fun have you played this before it's complicated things. How, exactly? Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. A contingency for what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. Hurtful, but I really fair. shouldn't say anything else. I'm just going to make it worse. Just... Good luck. Oh, you watched one of your senpai play it? Did you like it? I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. Well, I guess I... As I have been. Now, hold on. If you knew this could happen, why didn't you believe us back in the woods? Why lay out all those hypotheticals? We didn't have to talk in circles. I needed you to believe this was your first time here, even if that wasn't the truth. I hoped if I pushed back hard enough, I could cram this seeping mess back into the bottle. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. Okay, well, it's not my fault that I literally get scared of people coming into my room. I'm very skittish, okay? 
I was just born like that. Actually, all my pets are like that, too. I don't really get... Well, I guess it's because of the eye bags that maybe she has, like, goth vibes. I don't even know. We've gone through so many iterations at this point. Uh, I am streaming a bit later. That's <laughs> that was fun for you guys, though. That is pathetic. <laughs> I never said I wasn't. <laughs> I've never seen the narrator be such a bottom. I get it. That's true, her it crown would be is darker. upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. <laughs> Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Exactly, he gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. All right? Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. I won't. Fine, but you won't get another word from me on the matter. Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. Just give it a rest, this isn't helping. Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. Excuse me, I'm talking to the voices in my head. <clears throat> what happened after I died last time? That other chain on the wall, who's for? What would you have me do? You were asking about my intentions earlier. What did you mean by that? Yes, your intentions. You have a knife. What are you going to do with it? Why are you here? There isn't a keyhole in these shackles, and I don't see any keys in your hands either. So I'm afraid my only way out is another surgical removal. Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck? Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? You're right. Maybe she's delusional. All the more reason not to trust her. Unless she really could survive. Though I suppose you could just be here to kill me. But I don't think that's in either of our best interests. What happened after I died last time? Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. And now you're back. Is that really all she knows? It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. I guess it's possible she really doesn't know anything. Maybe both of us are stuck in this loop without any idea why or how. How am I supposed to cut you out if you didn't notice your head is in a shackle too? No. <laughs> No. Like I trust you to come any closer with that knife. All you're going to do is hand it to me, and watch me work. But she would have to cut her head off, right? She can't be suggesting that. She certainly seems confident. Maybe she knows something we don't. Or maybe you should consider the most likely scenario. She's bluffing so she can disarm you. Though if she isn't bluffing... Whatever she has planned might be for her benefit alone. There's no guarantee that what's good for her is good for us. So, what should we do? I don't know. I'm just spelling out our options, listing the pros and cons. Then let me help you. I'll start with the cons. If you're handing her your weapon, the cons are that she might use it to escape and end the entire world. And she might use it to kill you. We could just go to the other side of the room in time. That doesn't sound great. What about the pros? There are none. Okay, you're clearly biased in this scenario. The pros are that we can't trust him. Possibly even more than we can't trust her. And whatever she has planned could do something to mess with what he has planned. Or maybe they're both screwing us over in their own ways. Hmm. Another chain on the wall. Who is it for? I don't know. But you could always try it on. I'm down. Maybe it'll fit. 
I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. Mm. <clears throat> Fuck it, let's just give her the weapon. Okay. <laughs> I'm trusting you. Slide it over. No, absolutely not. I am not letting you hand your only weapon over to the world-ending princess. Until you come up with any other idea, like, say, I don't know, doing your job and slaying her, you remain rigidly in place. I don't wanna. You tried this last time. Do you want to know how it went for you? Oh, I remember. She killed us, which, by your estimation, ended the world, right? I want to be shackled together with her in holy matrimony. Oh, well, they tried to take over her body. Exactly. If I were you, I wouldn't be too keen on repeating your mistake. Hell, we could even force your hand and do it ourselves. I'm not afraid of dying again. Are you? Nah, I'm gonna do a flip. A little? I think you got your point across. Fine. You slide the blade across the floor. The princess maintains unsettling eye contact as she reaches down to pick it up. Thanks. She pulls up her hair, smiling slightly, as she raises the blade to her throat. There is gore, so if you don't feel comfortable with gore, maybe look away. Just warning you. One, two, three, four, five. What is she doing? She doesn't say another word as she cuts into her own neck. No. Watch an uneasy silence. I wonder what would happen her if we actually looked stare away. Forward, unblinking, as she soars through skin, veins, cartilage. At last, she reaches bone, the blade grinding audibly against her vertebra as it continues to slice its way through her neck. This is her party trick. I'll be damned. She's actually doing your job for you. Why would she do that? Huh. So that's her play. Killing herself? She isn't dead yet. Finally, you hear a snap. Her eye twitches. There's an uneasy silence. She remains motionless for a long moment, her twitching eye the only movement in the room, until at last it stops in an unsettling half-wink. Her head twists slowly to the side, flopping to her shoulder, and her neck opens. The remaining tissue is not enough to hold the weight of her severed head. It stretches and tears until finally it falls to the floor, completely free. It bounces a few times before rolling to a stop at your feet. Oh no, oh no, oh no, what did we do? Can, can we put it back? Please tell me we can put it back. The fuck you think these are, Legos? The princess's eyes stare up at you. Dead. Congratulations. You saved the world. No, we did get head. Just not in the way we wanted, bros. I hate this. Can we just get out of here now, please? Of course, the princess is slain and the world is saved. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. We should take her with us, don't you think? What? No. You shouldn't do that. Why would you do that? I can think of lots of reasons. A trophy. Proof of our victory. Hell, we could even give her a proper burial. <clears throat> she did save the world, right? You don't need proof. You don't need a trophy. And she doesn't deserve a burial. Just leave. Even after all that, you're still not satisfied, are you? Something is still motivating you to keep things the way you want them. I'm just eager to put this all behind us. I'm just us saying it's weird to bring it as a trophy. Reward. Stop reading into things. The danger has passed. You can relax. I'm just keeping myself sharp. I'm not so eager to put my guard down. I am. I'm on team. Let's put this all behind us. So can we leave already? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll get lonely. We can put her in a little jar and take her with us. Ugh, I got you, queen. Fine. Sorry, princess. You pick up the princess's severed head 
its neck stump still oozing bodily fluids. Then make your way back upstairs to the first floor of the cabin. Did you see that? I could have sworn she moved. She didn't. She's dead. But what if she's not? Are you listening to yourself? Do I need to explain to you why decapitation because is Because you evil? preserve heads in but jars, that's why. The reward is right in front of you. All you have to with, do is With what is, is it? From Aldehyde? Question mark? Leave the cabin and claim your reward. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is... Wait, no, that's not right. Well played. This... this is the end of the world, isn't it? I always thought I'd at least have time to explain myself before I had to watch it happen. But it's already... Over? Is he gone? But we're still here. Maybe it wasn't the end of the world after all. Maybe it was just the end of his. Thanks for carrying me up here. I had to take it on faith that you would know what to do. I'm glad I was right to trust you. So, this is the outside. Maybe it's just my lack of body, but it's colder than I expected. They always say it's cold. But you do not get the chance to respond. How will you ever? It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. W where does she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Hmm. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before. And you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Feels too good to be true. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror, gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. What do we get this time? You are nothing at all. Oh, there's a crow. But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know what I am. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image of the in the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. <clears throat> so you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. What are you? Are you something like me? Oh, I'm nothing like you. I'm an Ether. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Others like you? You've said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. 
it seems like we have a limited amount of questions, potentially. I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? You were either going to have seen all this, or you weren't going to have seen all this. This is worse, but you still have an opportunity to save the world. You can still slay her. I know, this world kind of sucks. Hmm. Let's see. Next to the Uwu princess. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? We've already crossed the point of no return. There's no saving me now. Not that there's ever been much of me to save. Oh, good. Mm. If you need me to slay her, I need to know what she actually is. She is the shifting mound. The ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. Like I said, this isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Hmm. What would it be like to live in a world without her? I have so many questions for you. <laughs> Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. Are you part of me or something else? Why couldn't you have told me all this from the start? I would have helped you destroy her. If you actually knew what she was from the start, if you knew her capabilities, a single intrusive thought could have instantly ended the entire world. Hmm. Why would you want me to destroy the concept of transformation? Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind, she must be destroyed. What's so wrong with that, though? Death is just a part of life. Ah, oh, hold on. <clears throat> what more do we want to ask? Of all things, why is she a princess? Why couldn't she be an ant or a slice of soggy bread? Are you asking me to spend my final moments psychoanalyzing you? She wound up a princess because you wanted her to be a princess. Maybe she needed to be beautiful, important, above you, but on a level you could still approach. A herald of things to come. I don't know. Gods are supposed to be beyond comprehension. I really shouldn't try and anthropomorphize you like this. Hmm, are we even on the scenario? <clears throat> or is he? How am I supposed to destroy an abstract concept? With some amount of difficulty. But you're an abstract concept yourself. It would have been preferable if you destroyed her within the confines of the construct, but when I shaped the two of you, I made sure that you were strong enough to see things through. I ran out of questions. Death of the author. Hmm. Say nothing and watch a man. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I haven't decided. I've said my piece, and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god, 
nascent? I don't know. And it's finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Yeah, that makes sense because it's an endless void of like decisions that we could make, you know? Proceed to the cabin, cabin one last time. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. It's been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. <clears throat> but I'm... I'll say I've missed you too. She unfurls an endless cascade of smiles in response, and then patiently waits for you to continue. Well, they did say it's a love story. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. I'm a long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. This is reminding me, reminding me of like the primordial, like mm, beings in Elder Scrolls lore. Like what is it? Fuck, I always forget the names. Like Sithis and what is it, Panama? All that stuff. It's just like chaos and like <clears throat> I guess like order. You know? What happens now? Ever the passive player. Always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature. Isn't it? So we were separated from... Her? Kind of? When the Echo spun us from Our one beloved. into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So change comes in many forms. Sometimes that change comes in the form of death. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? <gasps> hmm. So many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end, pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. Don't you have a say in all of this? Why is this all falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens. Just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions and I need answers before I can make a choice. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. 
She and achieved Kim. That which defies logic. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. To question everything is to deny the truth in front of you. To live alone within the caverns of your mind is to trap yourself in them forever. But you found me, and we chose to trust each other for no reason than the sake of believing in something that wasn't us. Shared skepticism blossomed into freedom, but we needed to walk a path together to bloom. Would you stop our journey now that you've seen its beginning? What of those in the worlds beyond? Would you erase their paths to stop them from going astray? <clears throat> ah, interesting. Address the statement's vessel, or the special statement directly. Appeal to your shared humanity. You appear, you speak about life and death and change and stagnation. But that isn't what any of this has been about. You've done nothing but lecture me since the minute I got here. You act as though the world can't exist without you, but I've existed without you. Hmm. I mean, guys, I have, I have saves. I have a save right here. You need to chill. Mm. Is she not happy with me? I'm guessing the way we're going about this is like maybe we give an answer that would appeal to this one, maybe? This particular iteration? I feel like I'm in cross-examination <laughs> with Ace Attorney. Mm. Appeal to your shared humanity. Girl, I was just- I just wanted questions. You speak about life and death and change and stagnation. But that isn't what any of this has been about. Oh, is it not? Perhaps you can enlighten me. A web of nerves, laid upon a web of nerves, laid upon a web of nerves. The shade of a beautiful beginning we can never return to. You knew me, and I knew you, <clears throat> even more than either of us know each other now. And you chose to pull apart that weave. But you did not choose to end me. We were still one, but we were also separate, and we were free. We were as we are. Will you excise that part of yourself, now that you see me from yet another angle? <sighs> Continue to appeal to your shared humanity. This is always just- you know what, I'm just gonna say fuck it. This has always just been about us. Two people forced to hurt each other again and again and again and again. But we don't have to hurt each other anymore. You cling to your emotion of pain and suffering. There is beauty and ugliness, and love in conflict. That's true! Your love knife gets a stake into your body, and another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. Hmm. There can be love and conflict and beauty and ugliness between us without bringing the whole of reality into the picture. Oh, okay, so... Uh, I guess I was a little slow on this, but... Um... Her change is gonna be ending the world. 
and we're fighting for that world to not end, I guess. This particular, I guess, these instances of worlds? We are the whole of reality. A boundless torrent of blades cuts you from boundless angles. You are a body. You are gory ribbons. You are a body again. And you feel all of it. On and on it goes until your bodies are not your thoughts or not you. Alive, dead, alive, dead, alive, dead, then alive and dead and alive and dead all at once. Yeah, I mean, she is like the embodiment of change, right? I guess this is just like all of this is just like a vessel for her and she is change itself. You learned to put yourself away and in your stillness you rose above me. You died countless steely deaths and you lived countless short lives. And yet it is all so far behind you. I pushed you to a greatness you never would have reached without me. I don't even understand how we got here. I was just asking questions, but I think she she wanted me to decide quickly, you know. Hmm. Stop the fight early and surrender. I mean, I don't think change is a bad thing. I do think that life has meaning and because of death. We're not the whole of reality. Why won't you see me the way I still see you? Why won't you see me for what I am? I could ask you the same. There is only room for one of us to be blind here, and I know it to be you. We are each other's mirrors, and are we not divine? have to be so big you can come back down to my level you can come back to me why would i speak to your level when i'm offering you ascension to mine it's so peaceful here beautiful eternal but ever changing as the clash between you abates you begin to shake your will rapidly dissolving nothing is immutable Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. Hmm. It's so easy to ex believe in the things you believe when you want when you get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? Mm. I won't kill you, but I won't let you free. You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. That's some good logic. It's easy to believe in the things you believe when you get to sit above it all. It is from my vantage point that I can see the totality of truth. Look how our crown has changed and ascended. What do you think happens if we leave here? This universe dies, and a new one is born. And that one dies, and a new one is born. And you and I get to witness it all, weaving a tapestry of life wherever we go. Hmm...
You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. What I offer you is not perspective. It is true. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. Which hero are you? I'm all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of you. <clears throat> I, I thought you died whenever I looked in the mirror. I don't think that's wrong, but I'm not sure it's right either. But we can worry about all that later. She's too many things all at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get through all of that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? She's really gonna make me, like, come back to her? Through just making me submit alpha behavior. I'm ready. Then let's go. We're in the drafts, boys. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? Mm. I'd like that. For old time's sake. Yeah, of course. I love a little smile in his voice. The interior of the cabin is, well, it's a cabin, yeah? There isn't much here, just a table and a knife and a door. And some windows. There's no mirror, either. I think you broke it. And I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. Is it just you and me? Did anyone else make it to the cabin? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there. Jumbled up in the rest of her. Is the narrator really gone? Yeah, it's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. I don't actually know how to feel about him being gone. Yeah, it's complicated. He put us through hell, but he's been part of us since the very beginning, hasn't he? End of the basement. No blade it is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but your judgment has gotten us this far. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Imagine if it echoed the first time. Have you figured out what you want to do yet, or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. Oh, well, I guess it depends on which playthrough, which voice. Continue down the stairs. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there you are. Hands empty. So you don't feel like recreating our first meeting detail for detail. I wonder what else will be different. Maybe there's still room for us to chat before the final curtain call. What do you say? Sit with her. It's so good to finally see you again. Mm, I'm sorry for all the times I've hurt you. Are you the same as you are out there? Which princess are you? You look like you did the first time we met. Is this the real you? There is- I don't think there is a real her. It's just about how we perceive her. So, <laughs> now that we're here at the end of everything, can you finally tell me your name? None of this was ever really fair to either of us, was it? What do you think of her? What she wanted us to be? What if we just leave? 
Hmm. I'm sorry for all the times I've hurt you. <laughs> well, the first time we met, I scared you so much your organs stopped working. And I meant to do that. If anyone should be apologizing here, well, it should be me. But hey, we both took things a little far, didn't we? It's no big deal. All of that's behind us now. I think. You know, when she puts it like that... I like how this is the most natural delivery. Like, it really just is a conversation you have with, like, an ex-lover or a lover that you've had space from. It's so good to finally see you again. Right back at you. In a way, it hasn't been much time at all, but it feels like it's been forever since I've seen you. Thanks for coming back. Because the thing is, she has to change her voice every single time, I think. Or, like, redo the lines. Maybe. Are you the same as you are out there? I don't know. I'm a part of her, I think. But she's seen so much more than we have. Like, she's seen everything, right? I don't think I could hold all of that without losing myself. I don't think you could, either. Which princess are you? You look like you did the first time we met. Is this the real you? I'm the same princess that's been with you since the beginning. And I feel real. But I also feel like I'm a lot more than I was then. We've been through a lot together. I don't think there's anything more real than that. I don't think I want to be a god. Does it matter what we call ourselves? It's just another label, and I don't think labels have ever helped us. All they do is cram us into boxes where we don't fit. Just like this cabin. So, now that we're here at the end of everything, can you finally tell me your name? <laughs> I never had one. And... Do not call me the Shifting Mound. It's too much. But I've always been a princess to you, right? So why don't we stick with that? And as for you, well, Hero works for me. But that's me. You know, I think I like that. Maybe it's because we were always supposed to save this little eldritch being. Always supposed to be like her hero. <clears throat> None of this was ever really fair for either of us, was it? No, it really wasn't. But just because it hasn't been fair doesn't mean that it hasn't been worth it. I'm really glad I got to know you. When you think of her, what she just, what she wanted us to be. I don't think she's the sort of thing you can really disagree with. It doesn't matter if she's right or wrong because she exists. She's this big, unrelenting force, and there's no arguing with her. But I guess that was the question out there, wasn't it? And it was the question before you came down here, too. Should she get to exist? I'm glad you didn't bring that knife with you. And like I said earlier, I don't really want to be her. I think I just want to be me. Yeah, I'm happy not to be everything. Just being us is plenty. What if we just leave? Do you know where this cabin is? Because I don't. I don't even know what's supposed to be outside other than us. What would even happen if we leave? What would that even mean? Hmm. Explore, take your hand in yours. I don't know. But I've always wanted to leave with you. I just didn't like being a god. I wanted to walk through that cabin door as we are, just you and me. Not knowing what it means is why I want it. We knew everything up there, but we don't know this. I want to know this. It doesn't matter what happens or what it means. What matters is that we're leaving together. That's all I want. 
Thank you. Take her hand. <clears throat> There's no need for words. Let's just leave. Okay then. Let's leave. I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Are you gonna be okay alone? Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be alone for too long anyways. The others are still around here somewhere. I'll find them. They did say it was a love story, remember? At the beginning of the game. Leave with the princess. Hands clasped together, you and the princess leave the basement behind for the last time. It's quiet as you ascend. A comfortable silence filling a space that used to be flooded with violence, words, and noisy thoughts. But there's an energy in the silence. An electricity. The anticipation of the unknown. At the top of the stairs, the princess stalls. Eyes fixed on the cabin door. See, this is why, like, um... W the princess couldn't leave with us dead. I think. Like, I think we need to, like, be united and exist in harmony. You feel her hand tremble in yours. She's unsure of herself for the first time in her long and short existence. She has no part to play anymore. And she knows this. Yet she still is. And then she crosses the room to the door outside, pulling you excitedly with her. This is it. I have no idea what it's gonna be like out there. Not that I'm scared or anything. It's exciting, really. Anything could happen. And if it's bad, then... It won't be bad. Not with you. <clears throat> Do we say the L word? The L word? Are you ready? Who's going to open it? Neither of us knows what it's going to be like out there. Let's be romantic. I love you. I love you too. But I'm trying not to be sappy about it. Don't make me get all emotional. She really is just like me, for real, for real. We did it. Is this a good ending? Did you learn nothing? Good is subjective. How did you guys like that? Did you enjoy it? Finish the game. The good ending doesn't count? What do you mean it doesn't count? Hiyori, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, welcome in. For those of you that don't know me, hello, I'm Amaya Whisper. I hope that you guys had a lovely time with Hiyori. I do ASMR, I sing, I voice act, and we just finished Soya the Princess. Well, kind of finished. It told me that it doesn't count. I was invalidated. What were you guys up to? <laughs> Explore, join the subreddit. No. Oh, we did change? Oh, gosh. I was... <laughs> Thank you! Did you play it before? Guys, make sure to check out Benny's channel, Sion's channel, and Hiyori's channel, okay? Give them lots of love and support. Let me mod you. Yum, 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 I can't find the thingy. Ugh. My chat is catching up. Oh, oh. there we go. <clears throat> Good night, Spartan Restwell. You were playing Demonologist? I can't play horror games by myself. I'm too much of a weenie. 
I'm, I'm a little pussy. I'm surprised I could even play this. I couldn't play... Mm, I could barely play Corpse Party. I'm really not good with horror. Were you playing by yourself or you were were you in a collab? I hope you weren't by yourself. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it, bros. I can't. <laughs> Honestly, though, it's this game was a really <laughs> wild ride. Oh, shit. Go chill, 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 chill. Oh, my God. Sorry. Wifey's just a little upset with me right now because I'm giving you guys attention. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm glad that we're of like mind. I really can't deal with horror. I get scared in Minecraft. It's it's not... Um, I don't know. I've tried playing horror games before. I tried playing Alien Isolation a little bit. I'm surprised I even got like an hour in. Well, I was actually going to end soon, but I feel bad, like, spoiling for people. Because <laughs> for anyone that hasn't played Slay of the Princess, I really, really highly recommend it. If you like visual novels and you like stories, like, you like really good stories with great, um, you know, twists and great dialogue, I think this is, like, the game for you. I don't want to spoil it for you. I know! Alien Isolation is so scary! But I get scared of everything, too. Literally earlier this um, stream, my sister came in my room and I I yelled because, yep, I cannot deal with anything apparently. I hope you have fun. Please feel free to tell me your thoughts on it if you play it. It's so interesting and it's this is definitely the kind of game where you want to see everybody's different reactions and interpretations. You know what I mean? I'm actually I'm gonna look up a video essay on it. Well, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I really need to go to the washroom. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. <laughs>
Yeah. I'm back. Oh shoot, I forgot my phone. <laughs> my bad. Oh, my head hurts. <clears throat> Here. Let's do everyone a favor and look at me. Ignore the eldritch horror behind me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I went to go to, go to the washroom, but the washroom upstairs was taken. So, unfortunately, I had to go down stairs. Wasn't that perfect timing for the music to change? <laughs> See, even the game knows how horrible stairs are. That's why they change every single time. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. That was a really fun uh, game though, honestly. It, how do I describe it? I don't know if I'm gonna seek out every single ending there is, cause there, let's see, how many achievements do we Anonymous get? Anonymous tipped $10. I really Good enjoyed this. Count. Thank you. You got 26 out of 97 achievements. It seems like a lot of people went for this one. 68.5% got the one that we did. Hmm. Yeah, there are 97 achievements. But I don't think it's like one for every single... You know, what do you call it? Every single ending. Ah. I'm glad you really enjoyed it. I had a really good time too. And I'm just saying, but I felt I was really fun and enjoyable. I mean, I usually am, but <laughs> more so than usual, you know? I'm very much of the mind that I think people have the most fun in streams when the streamer is having fun, you know? It was nice to forget about like, there have been like a lot of like big changes and stuff and I've been very tired lately. So I'm glad I got to have a lot of fun with you guys. <clears throat> Honestly, I wonder how many video essays out there there, there are out there right now. Let me look. Hmm. I need a princess video essay. Um lovely horrible monster oh this one's good this one's gonna be good why slay the princess is a genuine masterpiece oh it's almost two hours <laughs> i'm so excited to watch this oh that's an that's one i didn't see i felt like i got um what do you call it i felt like Mmm, I got a lot of endings, but I guess not, you know? Good night, sleepy, rest well. Have a good rest of your day slash night. Let's see, this thumbnail, perception is not reality. That's very true. Hmm. I'm glad that a game like this was able to blow up. You know? A lot of games like this, while they have a lot of love put into them and they're very high quality, unfortunately don't get the reception that they deserve. So I'm glad that like a lot of people play this game. Let me see how many reviews there are. <clears throat> I didn't actually look, it was just recommended to me a lot. Almost 10,000 reviews, that's pretty good because a lot of people who buy copies do not review. Hmm. There's a lot of variations on how you interact with the princess, which make, makes it cool that even if you saw streamers more, you could see in your own playthrough. That's true. It's nice to see something new every single time. Where? Play this game blind, I beg you. Yeah, do not look up spoilers or anything for this game. Definitely go into it blind. Help! She is breaking faster than I can fix her. It's just me, for real, for real. Uh, I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like... 10% reviews. I like how there was so much personality dripping from every single line. Whether it was like, that particular character, quote unquote, or what. Because if you think about it, there are only technically... 
Actually, no, I would consider every single voice a different character. I do have a knife. Where is it? Where? It's down here. Bam. And it fuck you up. Watch out. Ha. I don't know. What did you guys think of my playthrough? I don't have any experience, but a lot of you guys have watched other people play the game. So. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, well, that's what I meant by different character. Because, like, I would say, like, skeptic, hunted, all of it's new, you know? Hey, good luck, DJ. I hope that you have fun. Feel free to, like, show me the end result and post in Discord. I wonder how many we were missing. Because there were already so many different art assets. And, like, the amount of work that they have to put into every single path. Because, like, each choice matters so much. You know? I, yeah, I don't know how fast I am. I'm, like, decently okay at, like, predicting plot points in games and, like, media and stuff. But, like, there was a lot. Oh my gosh. It's nice, though, because they present it in a way that, like... Um... It doesn't treat you like you're stupid, but you have a lot of... ways to read between the lines. You know what I mean? I felt like when I was playing Coffin of Annie and Lele again. I really, really love cross-examining. Maybe it's because I used to want to be a writer. <clears throat> I love playing, like, English teacher with media. But then I'll, like, watch other people's video essays and I'm like, wow, I'm fucking garbage. The curtain was not just blue, in fact. Wow. I'm better at explaining it in a more analytical sense, you know? <clears throat> 12 voices. Let's see. We got the skeptic, the hunted, paranoid. There's hero, skeptic, hunted, paranoid. Mm, contrarian. Stubborn. Broken. Cold. So that's eight. I don't. Does narrator count? I, I guess narrator counts. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure. And then we have the wild princess. We have the ghostly princess. We have the innocent animu princess. The uwu one. We did get the broken voice. Yeah. I don't remember. All of them showed up against the Blade Princess? Oh, Smitten, yes. Well, I knew a lot of them showed up against the Blade Princess, but I didn't know it was all of them. Hmm. There were quite a few, though. I did have a Smitten voice. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the playthrough, though. Like, I tried to... Hmm. I guess, like, I tried to generally keep consistent with the tone of things where, where I feel like I should. You know, like, scenes where I don't think I should joke around too much. I don't joke around too much. Because I feel like it just ruins it for a lot of people, you know? Mmm. I did get Contrarian. I don't know if I got all of them, though. I got Contrarian Skeptic when I hadn't gotten Skeptic before. I got Smitten because I decided to flirt with her. Each chapter, two plus princess has at least two more forms, depending on whether you die or kill her through some forms of progressions or shared. Oh, that makes sense. I do remember seeing the contrarian because I was confused because I hadn't seen it before. And I was like, oh, they just compile all the ones that I could have gotten throughout this chapter. And then added them in the voices. Oh my god, I, I, I scared myself looking at my other monitor because I saw the background change. No, I'm glad you guys had fun. I had tons of fun, too. I just want to chit-chat with you guys. Because I'm a little EP. I'm probably going to go play Minecraft after this. Ha! If any of you guys want to join the server, the Discord server, and then join the Minecraft server, feel free to do so, and I'll whitelist you tonight. Unless I'm asleep. Then I'll whitelist you in my dreams. No worries. <laughs> It 
Is it really? What the heck? I wasn't even leaning that far back in my chair. It just like slid me down. Oh my god, I'm stuck like this. <laughs> what the heck? Ha. Ha ha. I know, it was certainly a unique experience. I don't... I'm not gonna say it wasn't what I expected. But it wasn't what I did expect either. I don't really know what I expected. I guess I expected something more horror focused, like a singular experience. I guess not many people will expect like an existential crisis from it, you know? I kind of did expect that there would be more, but probably not to this extent, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I don't... I guess I thought it would be more like a tragic tale, you know? Like, I thought it would be some sort of tragic tale about a princess who has undergone these things. Like, a more linear one, you know? But this wasn't linear at all. It was the opposite. I don't know. What do you guys think? What decision would you have made? Would you have... This is spoilers, by the way, for the ending. Would you have ascended to godhood? I don't know. I feel... I feel like humanity is a unique experience, the same way anything else is, you know? But the difference is with Godhood, it's more like an experience that doesn't end, you know? Only if it was Divinity 2? That's true, I convinced everybody to let me ascend in Divinity 2. I'm a winner. Ah. Uh... That's why I laugh at people that say Dead Space 3 isn't horror. It's just a different flavor of horror to the rest of the series. Isn't it more like psychological? Dead Space 3? I heard the remake was really good. I don't think I'd wanna... I mean, I'm already kind of a god, but, you know. <clears throat> I don't know if I wanna ascend to godhood necessarily. I feel like... I'd be so empty. I wouldn't want to lose my sense of self. Oh my god. It's because I keep leaning back in my chair. I wouldn't want to lose my sense of self and the morality that comes from being a human being and having to live through the limitations of your existence, you know? When you become a god, those limitations no longer bind you. And since those limitations no longer bind you, neither does your sense of morality, you know? Like, that's the whole, like reason why she could have like ended the universe does that make sense i don't know how like i don't know how else to say it but like if you couldn't it's really about how much you value things i guess because once you become a god all these humans with lives and experiences and memories and like these pitiful decades where they built up certain things you know they built families they built relationships they built careers all of it's just nothing to you because everything's subjective and it's all relative right to a being that lives eons a decade is nothing so to lose that kind of, like, you lose all sense of perspective that you previously had when you're, um, when you ascend to godhood of most of the time. Because when you live for thousands of years, how can you possibly continue to care as much, you know? People say that they will. You won't. You won't. It's totally different. <clears throat> I don't think I have to worry about ascending to Godhood against my will. Yeah, I don't think you do either. <laughs> it is kind of the rerun perspective. Makes sense. I think co I chose to ascend with her. I think at the part where the hero intervenes and felt like its own happy ending. Honestly, that's what I was going to choose. But I didn't understand why she started fighting with me. Did I do something? Was she just mad that I questioned her so much? And so she was going to make me like submit to her by force because she didn't like want me to question her decision anymore or what i should have i don't know <clears throat> i 
I feel like that's why. Because she was like, oh, I'll make you see. Honestly, what I was going to do was I was going to ascend with her. But like not have her end the world or the universe. I don't think it's so bad if she does though. Because like it's... The thing is, once you become a god, everything you see is from like a big picture standpoint. Well, I think it's that she was kind of looking down on you. I mean, she was looking down on you because we were no longer... Well, we, we weren't a god yet, you know? What I wanted to do was we both ascend to godhood together and she leaves this universe alone and lets it, takes it, lets it take the natural course. You know? <clears throat> I'm a little confused on the narrator's role, though. I do want to see. It really just is, like, about the philosophy. I'll have to explore it more later. I probably won't do it here, but later. Later, probably. Dun, 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 dun. Slay the princess. Spoilers. Stories and endings, explanations. Five months ago. Oh, this game is older than I thought. You can give me an explanation. Hmm. He says world without death will just have enough change in it to be bearable without ending. Do we trust him on that? I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with death. Mm, it's just, it's sad, right? But it is what it is. It's just a very difficult concept for humanity to wrap, like, their brain around. Hmm. I do want to know the narrator's story as well. The narrator was confusing. Narrator was a magician who trapped the concept of change in a box to have it fight itself and become static so that death wouldn't happen anymore. That's pretty convoluted, but fair enough. Who knew a magician was so powerful? Am I seeing Evangel- Oh no, this is a Princess, princess Mononoke one. <laughs> it's a Princess Mononoke and Slay the Princess. Crossover. <clears throat> Voice of the Broken. <laughs> Let me show you this. Let me show you guys this. Hold on. Uh, you're gonna appreciate this one. Image. It's a, it's a voice to your <laughs> Voice of the broken. I am his number one defender. He's my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my wife, my husband. I will protect him with my life. It physically hurts me to go against his wishes. I would hold him gently and tell him everything's gonna be okay. He's my favorite and the greatest character of all time. <laughs> Where was the other one? <clears throat> he just, I love them and I would die for them. Voice of the cheated. Voice of the hero, voice of the smitten, voice of the contrarian, voice of the skeptic, voice of the paranoid. I don't know these ones. Dagger. Voice of the hunted. <clears throat> oh, it's the different princesses too. Voice of the opportunist. I don't know what- how do you get the opportunist one? I'm not familiar with that one. Voice of the stubborn, yeah, that's pretty bad. What? You put goth girl, goth GF princess at the bottom? What the hell, man? Oh, look at the barbarian princess. Damn, bros. Really? They put- They put uwu bitch here? They put uwu bitch in tier one? I'm gonna need to have a talk with the creator of this tier list. Mm, that was an interesting one. <clears throat> I do see the variations on there quite a lot. Oh, no. What happened? What happened? Oh. Ah, there we go. I want to make a tier list now. 
I slay this prince, the princess tearless after I get the thingy. Dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the elder tour that lives inside of my brain. Do you still want me? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna save that one. I'm gonna save that one for later. I love how people will make memes out of literally any media. It doesn't matter what it is, someone will make a meme out, a meme out of it. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Someone put me on this subreddit! <laughs> what the fuck? Amaya Whisper started streaming this game with no knowledge and I expected her to only do like two hours. She seems unexpected. She unexpectedly got hooked. And it's been at least five hours, <laughs> and it seems like she's going through the whole thing in one go. It's super interesting seeing her go into it full blind. I didn't expect to see me here! Oh my god. Imagine the meta gaming for anyone who might be coming in right now from here. Actually, it's been seven hours now. But my legs are sore. I'm getting old now. <sighs> what is this, Undertale crossover? Tuscaro editor. <laughs> Which was your favorite voice? I think Voice of the Cheated was my favorite. Just because it was so funny. <clears throat> my popularity as a niche internet micro celebrity is growing. I know, I'm peaking. At this rate, I'll finally have self worth. <laughs> I think it's just because this is the kind of game that you want to see all kinds of perspectives on. I do ha I have noticed that, like, you know, I've actually gotten a lot of comments, like, when I discuss things, being surprised. They'll be like, oh my god, wait, you're smart? Oh my gosh. Just because I have a cute anime girl avatar with, with Undertitty, does that mean that I'm less intelligent? Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. I, you guys know what I always say. There are many different um, kinds of intelligence. Yeah, I've actually had people people say like verbatim to me. Like, oh, you're smart? What? You're smart? And I'm like... I mean, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that money for me? Super Iron Bob tipped twenty-five dollars. Why have self-worth when you can have worth worth? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Confidence is for you know temporary, temporary purposes. Money's forever, uh, until I spend it on something stupid that I shouldn't have. <sighs> so it's not forever at all. At least it's tangible though. Thank you very much, Bob. I appreciate it. I don't know, though, but I don't think ditzy means that you're stupid. I was talking to my sister about this, but, like, um, she was... We went to the dog park, and she met a co-worker. <clears throat> and she was talking about, like, this this girl that she worked with a long time ago. Actually, no, this, this was a separate conversation. But I was talking to my sister about, like, different perspectives and stuff, right? And how like there are different kinds of intelligence and she was telling me about this very very ditzy girl that she knew in her sorority and don't say like oh yeah of course like it was sorority sororities get a bad rep but like in canada sororities are at least from what i understand are a very different experience right but um she said that because she was ditzy she had a very very different perspective of everything and sometimes that different perspective or maybe that extremely simplistic perspective is best you know like sometimes people totally overcomplicate things in their mind and it's nice to be able to see things in a different way like even if you don't agree with it the most intelligent booba side titty i didn't know there was a correlation 
I'm it's more su- I'm more surprised that someone like you is bad with horror. I'm really really bad with horror. I like watching it, but like I need to do it in smaller doses. You know, two certainties in life: death and taxes. Now I want to play death and taxes again. It was trending for a while a long time ago, but I don't think many people know that game anymore. I don't know. I like for me, it's very normal to have like I really want a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie again. It's very normal to have these discussions. So it's strange when people don't. I, I do my best to like understand people, right? <clears throat> but when people don't really have anything to say about something, that that concept to me is so alien because I have something to say about everything. You know, like I feel like if you don't have something to say, you just don't want to say it. Or maybe, mm, maybe you need to expand your worldview more. I think you should always have some thought. It's okay to not voice those thoughts, right? But like. You should always have some. There's not really much I can think of that I don't have any thoughts on. Is there something that you guys have that, like, you can't think of any sort of opinion on it? You know? Sometimes you have to think about putting your feelings into words a bit put your feelings into words that's fair i think for me i'm i'm very used to like getting misunderstood and having to kind of like analyze my own feelings and then present them in a way that's very analytical as well you know i know that makes sense <clears throat> If I don't have something to say on a subject, it's because I understand my ignorance on and refrain from forming an uninformed opinion. That's fair. In those situations, I'll be like, honestly, I don't have enough information on this. So like, this is just my perspective from what information I do have and why. If I had other information, maybe it would be different. You know what I mean? Feelings and text, really, really difficult. For me, I'm very used to over explaining myself because like, I used to be a very, very blunt person and I'd hurt people's feelings. So I learned how to tailor my words, words for like very specific situations. And like, I, <clears throat> I kind of grew up in an environment where I was kind of like walking on eggshells a lot. So I got very used to choosing how I say things so as to not like trigger certain reactions basically. I don't know if that makes sense. Don't overthink things, overthink things, am I? Just say what you feel in a way that's not too insulting to the other person. You realize every single thing goes through a filter, right? If you don't have a filter, then that's a problem. Well, to clarify, I don't think it's... I think it can be a problem. I think it'll get you into like situations that are sticky as well as other people and it's just unfortunate because some things you do need to sift out the parts and like figure out what the real problem is because sometimes you'll say something and you don't understand your own feelings yourself and so you'll say something that's more hurtful than it actually is if you thought about your feelings a bit more you know Okay, that said, I am sore. I am very sore. I need to lie down a bit. My legs are big hurdy right now. So, how am I going to read? How long have you been streaming, my love? Let's see. Mm, she'll probably continue streaming. Do I have permission? I have permission here. Let's see. God damn it, woman. I don't think I do. Fuck! 
This is so sad. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, it looks like we're just waiting my, or raiding my waiting room, which happens to be Honey Pop. So. <laughs> but if you guys had a fun time with me today, make sure to subscribe and you will see me tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. EST. I'm going to head out. Yay, yay. Make sure to support everyone that raided tonight, okay? Hiori, Sion, Benny. All right. Later, Gator.